Right, Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Israel. And right, out here on another Saturday, to bring out the word, the gospel of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, through the mercy, grace, through the blessings, and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bring out the downfall of Babylon, America, okay? Spiritually, Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritually, Egypt, all right? Which is bound to fall, all right? As is told in the prophecies of the Holy Scriptures. But first and foremost, we're going to turn to the east. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto our power. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ragach, Ragach. Now we want to give double honors to the head apostles, the elders, bishops, the teachers, the great millstone. Rule well and teach well across the four winds with sound doctrine. Risking their lives and freedom to do so. All right, Shalom to the house of David. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. All right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Haitians, West Indians, Israelite foreigners are scattered abroad. That's right. Make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah, we right. are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. So, I mean, seek repentance and salvation in these latter days. Right. So, uh, as we continue to see things, uh, you know, grow. And uh, it's lucky I see these prophecies that are continuing to uh, come to pass. All right, see the wars, rumors of wars, things that are ramping up, and ultimately uh, the, the further crashing of this, uh, you, you know, dollar, this this current uh, economy. Okay, we're seeing, uh, you know, these governments. Uh, all the you just had uh, uh, Biden with that executive order, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. talking. Uh, a lot of the brothers been talking about this for a long time now, but the central banks coming up with their own digital currency. You know? Yeah, we're seeing that come to fruition, and we know that the the digital all is. is coming soon man yep. they've already got it ready they just have to uh you know condition the people to uh be ready to to be willingly uh taking it man yep exactly. that's why they got this hyperinflation you know it's about to hit hyperinflation soon mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and all of these things must come to pass man but we understand the end is not yet though yeah. we have to go through these different trials jacob's trouble the hour of temptation man then the end shall come, yeah, man. Kind of famine of the word, etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, but we know that the Lord is speeding these things up for the elect's sake, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. So God. these things are all going to happen fast, you know? Yeah, God. So that's why it's very important to stay and, you know, embedded in this truth and this faith and stay, uh, keep our, you know, keep our watch, you know, as right. men of the Lord. All right, got to stay on our on our watch. We got to continue to blow that trumpet, sound the alarm for our people and let them know and uh, continue to abound in the work of your Yahweh Shem Yahweh about in prophecy. All right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 39 and verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Woo. That's right, man. The customs of the ancient, man. The Lord doesn't change, man. <laughs> Babylon over here, man. Yeah. Yeah, that just reminds me. I, I just seen the other day um, uh, a guy on a motorcycle got hit on the very street, man. He pulled up to go to the bank right here. And the dude was out there in the middle of the street, knocked off his pipe, man. Yeah, judgment. Yeah, and yeah. judgment, exactly, man. Yeah. The Lord is pouring heavy judgment out here right now, man. It's a lot of peace time. Yeah. That's why it's, it's important to repent, man. You don't yeah. get caught up out here by the right. judgment. So right. this dude was out here, the traffic started backing up. The dude that hit him went out of his car to check that he was uh, okay. The dude was, uh, he was hurt. He wasn't getting up and shit, but he was okay, you know, not severely hurt. The dude got back in his car and stood oh, off, man. <laughs> man, thank it, man. You know, you know the script yeah. says, man, people are not going to regard other people, man. Yep. People yeah. are going to be trying, you know, it's going to get worse and worse, man. Yeah, he didn't even help him move uh, to the side of the road, move his bike. There's uh, some other people that were on the sidewalk that walked out there and helped them, man. Yeah. The love of this world, man, is getting worse and worse. Ain't no love, man. God. Yeah, how you doing? Thanks. Yeah, man, so uh, that's why it's important to stay, you know, again, focused on these prophecies, man, on the that's scriptures, right. all right? Because, uh, you know, we got to be able to measure the times diligently, man. That's right. The Israelites out there got to repent, man. I'll be caught off guard, man. It. And be stuck in that day, man, not knowing what to do. Yeah, yeah. The Lord, the Lord's Listen, coming man. like he's doing in the night, man. That's all right. Ah, man. You know, meditate the, the law, you know, occupied in the meditation thereof, man. So, as, as uh, you know, the Heavenly Father, you know, has, been, has, has blessed us with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through these holy scriptures, man. Right. We got to be occupied in this, all right? Because the ways of the ancient, man, the Lord ain't going to change, man. 
he isn't a liberal. He's not going to change. He's not going to, uh, just because he's, this time gone past and, and these churches are accepting damn transformer bishops, uh, women to teach, you know? Yeah. The, the Lord changes not, man. Yeah. This is the ancient ways, man. You can't, you can't freaking come with the sword on there, man. Yeah. It's just so, so as Hamashiach Yahweh Shai had stated, you know, that he is uh, here to do his father's business, all right? This is our business. This is our occupation. We have to be, you know, put this first, all right? The Yahweh, word, man. Yeah, Yahweh Shai said, man, if you love me, go feed my sheep, man. Yep. And that's what us brothers, man, under the elder of the apostles on down, man, different brothers, man, that's out here laboring in truth and sincerity, man, with the right doctrine, man. We out here doing the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. We're gonna feed the sheep, man. We're gonna we gonna help get the the elect sale, man. Yeah, and that's the right. job of the watchman. You know, you gotta give your people warning of what's coming, man. Whether they hear or forbear. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, the blood's on, on your own hands too. Yeah. So we're giving our people warning, and if, if they don't want to hear it, do my name, man. Yeah. yeah. This is verse two, Ecclesiasticus, uh, otherwise known as the books of Sirach chapter 39 and verse 2 he will keep the sayings of the renowned men and and where subtile parables are he also he will he will be there also that's right man those renowned men are, are you know, with the, the prophet man and, and the words of the Hawashah you know those are the renowned men that have the spirit of the Lord on them man. the ancient men man, our, our forefathers our forefathers and now, and really us. Now we got the elder apostles on down that are breaking this, this truth down with 100% uh, truth. Yeah. Right, man. This is, the, this is uh, the verse 3. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be convert, conversant in dark parables. That's right. This is a dark saying unto these people that yeah. don't have the understanding of the scriptures, man. Yeah. That's why... Uh, you had that one wicked ass uh, um, Judite, she was walking past um, the brothers in San Francisco, man, oh, cursing okay. them out. She was in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah. She got yeah, ran yeah. over by a damn semi. Yeah, she's over there she's still to... over there trying to say, that's that's not my God. That's not in the Bible. Hey, uh, here it is. You guys uh, wrote your book yeah, in, in, yeah. A, in a garage, she said, man. <laughs> here it is. The most high runs this lady uh, over yeah. with a, with a, with a uh, semi truck. Semi -truck. Yeah. Spares her life and to give her a chance to come before the men of the Most High yep. to hear the word, and uh, yet the woman comes to scoff. Damn. That's her lot, man. Damn. Not only that, man. I think she. Lord gave her a second chance, and she still ain't with him. <laughs> Standing right before the men of the Lord, yeah. scoffing and cursing, threatening to stab one of the brothers oh, with, a, uh, uh, with a screwdriver, uh, tase him with a thousand volts. Uh, come on, old lady. Come on. Uh, God, I know, man. These women, she's not acting like a woman, man. Like you know, it's, it's, scripture says a shameless woman shall be accounted as a dog, man. Yep, that's right. These women out here, a, a new thing, man, in this earth, man. These women, what they doing and thinking they can come past us and talk down to the man, especially the Israelite man, man. The men of the Lord. That's right, that's right, man. But this is a dark saying to him, man. Try to, she, she don't understand that the Lord, he, he wounds, he kills, and he kills. Have mercy on, man. She said, My Jesus is the one that come on now. Yeah, or not. This is verse 4. He shall serve among great men and appear before princes. He will travel through strange countries, for he hath tried the good and the evil among men. Right, so we gotta continue to try to test the spirits, man. You know? Verse 5. He will give his heart to restore early to the Lord that made him and will pray before the Most High and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplication for his sins. That's right. We're early to the Lord that made him. So all four times, you know, we got to continue to pray to the Most High. Pray for that, that mercy, that forgiveness, man, because we have gone off in our past lives and in this current life, man. All right. There is, there is a man that sinneth not, as the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing. There's no man that sinneth not. It's yeah. you. So yeah. the point being, man, every man has gone off in one way or another. So yeah. we got to continue to repent for that. Yeah, that's why That's why we got to humble ourselves and make lamentations towards the, the most high. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. Yeah. Yeah. The scriptures say, if a man say he have no sin, 
And he make he, he make it the most high alive. Yeah, exactly, man. So that's uh, you know that's something we gotta continuously do, man. It never ends. You know, you can't say that you repented once. You uh, said, oh yeah, you prayed on it one time and because you went off right there. Like, no man, it's a continuous thing. It's an everyday thing. You gotta devote yourself to that prayer, man, that forgiveness, man. Cause with every day that the Heavenly Father gives you, man, all right, that's an opportunity right there to repent. Yeah, yeah man, pray, man, cause we praying to escape these times, man. Yeah, exactly, man. So, this is verse six. When the great, when the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. All right, so being increased, you know, it's all the timing of the heavenly Father, all by the will of your Abba Shai. You know, wisdom and understanding comes from the Most High. He's pouring out his spirit unto the brothers, man. Yeah. This isn't anything of our own works, man. We are chosen through the Lord, man, to, to be able to receive well, that's right, man. So always got to give thanks to the Heavenly Father for that increase. That's right. That's why we got to constantly pray for that increase, man. Yep. He, he don't hold back the wisdom, man. He asks for it and he give it, man. Yep. God. But um, this is verse 7. In Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach 39, this is verse 7. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and in his secrets shall he meditate. That's it, man. The secrets, man. All right. So the Heavenly Father has opened up our eyes to see and our ears to hear. Right, that I saw in order to receive the, it. The mysteries of the kingdom have been revealed to you. So that means it's not given, man. God, you know, hey, that's the spirit. I just had that pulled up. This is uh, St. Matthew 13 and 11. Yahweh Shai had answered and said unto him, them, his disciples, okay, saying, uh, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. That's right, man. That's right, man. Uh, the elect are going to receive this truth, man, and understand the mysteries and the secrets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And the unwanted are going to stay unwanted, man. They're yeah. going to continue to walk past, pretend like they don't see the men of the Lord laboring. Yeah. And, you know, ultimately that was the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. Only the election is going to return, man. Yeah. And the rest are blind. Right. You got a precept? No, I have a question. Huh? Uh, when you guys said, uh, man that walks uh, in the four nations, because he tasted both the good and the bad. Like, what did you guys what you guys just read? Oh, yeah, saying uh, with the... Uh, talking about um, four, verse 4, please, at Sirach 39 and 4, he shall serve among great men and appear before princes. Yeah. And so serving among great men like fellow men of the Lord. Yeah. So, okay, so the men that are in the truth yeah, and will, devoting themselves to the word. You will travel through strange countries where you have tried the good and the evil among men. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, by, by going out there and, and oh, teaching yeah. the word right. wherever Most you go, man. We're everywhere. So wherever Throughout the four corners, man, you, the Most High has prophets out here, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. And wherever, wherever we go, we have this truth with us, man. And whoever wants to, who's able to learn or is a, of the spirit, man, that wants to know this truth, we're able to give it to them, man. Yeah. So, so the word try you, means trying, like, like as in fire, like. Uh, as more so in like in trying as in like testing the spirit. Oh, it's like, okay, so we'll speak of the word. Uh, attempt to edify and, and discuss the word, the truth, you know, of the scriptures. And if they are, um, if they're not able to receive it, or if they have a reprobate mind, if they're unable to understand, or if they're combative, you know what I mean? If they're coming up against, directly coming and, and opposed to the word and the truth of it, then ultimately that's uh, that's what's considered evil. Look at, but it says because he has tried. It doesn't mean he tried the good and bad, right? Doesn't mean that like he have tried the good. First yeah, John. so it's saying he shall serve upon great man and appear before princes. He will travel through strange one, countries, one, for he have tried the good and the evil. So he will serve among good great men because he have done the work. Yeah, when you try so, something, you, you test it. Okay. Yeah. Because I have a question. So, like, is this not a precept? Because like I, when we when you said this, uh, it reminded me of when uh, in the Ecclesiastes two. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes two. Um, sorry, uh, verse twelve. It says, "Whoa." Oh, it says, unto him, uh, un woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. So what does he mean by the sinner that goeth two ways? Yeah, you can't be a, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So you can't really serve the Most High and, and be uh, in this world still or to be, um, you know, mixing uh, doctrines and philosophies. Then. 
you know, you can't be uh, double-minded, that's a simple thing, you know. So because I was kind of relating it to when I said, you know, walking through the valley of shadow of death, like we are, you are, or we're striving to be, uh, you know, the hopeful elect, right? So because we are a light and darkness, I thought that's what I was trying to say. Like, when you try good and bad, that because we try good and bad, we were able to uh, merge those two and then give a better. Oh, uh, oh no, it's more so like testing the spirits. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, it's pretending. Yeah, I, 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 I got this right here. This is the book of First John, chapter four, verse one. It says, "Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of Yahweh, because many false prophets are going out into the world." Try the spirits. Try the spirits. Okay. Yeah, if they really are up, the most high. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so we got plenty of uh, churches, plenty of false teachers out there that will try to say that they're holy, they're, they're men of the Lord, but they're not fulfilling and keeping the word of the Lord, man. Right? They're, they're not really under the spirit, man. Right? Yeah. That also links up to the uh, book of St. John, chapter 7, verse 24. It says, Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So judging righteous judgment again going back to trying the spirits so test we have the spirits right? yeah test the spirits kind of like yeah. it you're not no yeah. that's what it says yeah. try the spirits yeah, yeah try the spirits yeah. you know i'm just for his interpretation you know yeah. you try something you test it right yep yeah man so you know yeah and the scripts all say yeah uh, roughly paraphrasing that we may know a man according to his appearance but that's really that's somewhat pertaining to something a little bit different but in the sense that like yeah if you uh, you know, certain things, if, if someone has, has the appearance of like, you know, being a demon, if they're smoking, if they're fucking, you know what I mean? If they have an upside down cross tattooed in the middle of his forehead, a pentagram, you know, so on and so forth. I mean, you, you, you can kind of tell, it's like, oh, okay, that person's a little off, they may have some demons so on like them. You know? Something earlier. like that, you know? Yeah, <laughs> That's just one example, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> they're, they're smoking and drinking a bottle of liquor right in front of you, you know, so on and so forth, you know, smoking rock, you know what I mean? And, and, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> You don't gotta test that spirit much, you know. But yeah, that's just one example. It's, you know, one part of that. But uh, go back into uh, what you want to finish with that? Oh, go ahead and uh, go back into uh, what was it? Uh, Sirach 30, uh, 37. 39 and uh, 39 and 5. Uh, go to uh, what was it? You already finished 7, right? Time. Why don't we go to uh, 20, 23? Oh, yeah, 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 go to 23 and 25, I'll be sure. It says a, a book of Sirach, chapter 39, and verse 8. Or, he should, or 23. We can't jump over there. Oh, well, we're jumping up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Same, same chapter, but just verse 23, if I would show. Okay. Yeah, 23 to 25. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 39, and verse 23. As ye have turned the waters into salt, saltness, so shall the heathen inherit his wrath. That's right. So the Heavenly Father, man, he's got wrath for these heathen nations, man. All right. And for those that are not of Israel, man. All right. Those that oppress and afflict our people that have done so for thousands of years, man. Those who have come up directly against Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay. They are going to inherit the wrath of the Heavenly Father. All right. So just as the Heavenly Father has turned, you know, has created waters into saltness, man. There's, uh, you know, oceans throughout the earth, man. All right. Uh, you know much salt in the earth man one being yeah man as sure as there is salt in that water man there is wrath that will be inherited by these heathen that's right so it says the wrath that the most high is poured, over, poured out upon all the heathen yep yeah. uh, verse 24 as his ways are plain unto the holy so are the stumbling blocks unto the wicked Alright, so these ways are made plain through the understanding, through the Holy Spirit, alright, through the understanding of the scriptures, through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, his ways, the Heavenly Father's ways are made plain unto the holy, alright, but they are stumbling blocks to the wicked. So even the wicked two-thirds of our people, man, they are stumbling blocks because they cannot take heed to this word, you know, they have reprobate minds, man, they are unable to accept it and take heed. So therefore, man, the Heavenly Father... These are stumbling blocks to them, right? And the Heavenly Father is going to lay down stumbling blocks before them because they are unable to understand, man. Yeah, the scripture says he will choose that delusion. Yeah, they're not separating themselves, you know? You be you separate, all right? They're not separating themselves from this world. They're trying to, for, you know, uh, they're trying to continue in, uh, you know, partaking in this world, man, this wicked kingdom. That's ran by, uh, you know, again, our chief, chief nemesis, Esau Benham, the so-called white man. 
So they're continuing to prolong, the, you know, they're looking to prolong the ways of this life and this world. Everything that pleases their flesh, the lust thereof. So, yeah, man. The Heavenly Father, this word cuts them, man. Pursuant to Hebrews, uh, I believe, uh, chapter 4, verse 12. Yeah, man. So this word is, is, is cutting them deep, man. Go ahead. Uh. Verse 25. For the good are good things created from, from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. Right? Woo! So from the beginning, man, he set up who's going to be the righteous, man. And from the beginning, he set up who was going to be the wicked. Uh -oh. well, and he's going to receive evil things, all right? So good, man, going to them, um, created from the beginning, man. Good and, things uh, created. A lot of these things, uh, the scriptures say that the wicked created for the day of judgment, man. So yep. a lot of these things were to, to lead up to this, uh, the end of the Lord's movie, man. Oh, exactly, man. But it's judgment, man. Right? Yep. forth the apostles' last, man. This right here, this truth that we are in, man. It's the last thing to come to this earth, man. You know, as for the testimony of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man, we out here, man. And you know, under the head apostles and elders on down, man, we out here doing this work, man. At the end, man. You know, then it says, uh, then they should know who who is who is my chosen, man. Kind of, just, uh, yeah. Reminded me of that, uh, you know, the despair. We believe that, you know, we understand reincarnation, but uh, Elijah, the prophet, you know, being sent back in, in the reincarnation. This is uh, Malachi 4 and 5. Read, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the great, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh mm -hmm. That's right, so, man. He's been, uh, he sent, you know, uh, Abba Vivens, man, to, um, to, Give us the truth, man. Yep, that's right. Before the return of Yahweh Shai, man. Yep, that's right, man. To wake up the elect, man. Mm -hmm. I got that uh, when I was quoting, man. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter four and verse nine. It says, "For I think that Yahweh has sent forth us the apostles last, as it were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world." and to angels and to men that's right man so we're doing this thing made a spectacle before men you know the angels are carrying up the report to the heavenly father all right so we're out here trying to be fools for hamashiach's sake all right because uh, these people of the world aren't going to be able to receive this man so they you know you see them drive by give you uh strange looks man to record you yep. to mock the, the men of the lord out there bringing out the truth but they don't re realize that they're giving themselves damnation to that, bro. Yo, God. Everyone that walk past, man, the angels right here, man. Yeah, how oh, shy is with us, man. That's right, man. Yeah. So, you yeah. know? So, we yeah. right here, man. They just mark it down. See, we just walk past, had a chance. Just walk past, had a chance, man. God. And marking it down. And then marking down all works, too, man. Yeah. You know? Make sure that everything is done. It's the sincerity, man. And, and, and the works being done, man, is being recorded, man. God. You know? God, exactly, man. Because we know that our people are being led astray, man. All right, the, the flock is being misled, and uh, you know, by these false prophets, these wacky, tacky Christian churches, Baptist churches, mm -hmm. so on and so forth, man. That's you right. know. So, so I, you just remind me. I, I want to bring out Jeremiah thirty-five and fifteen. Reads, I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying. Return ye now, every man, from his evil way, and amend your doings. So you gotta repent, man. Right. You gotta turn away from this pleasing the most high. Going right. out there, trying to be part of this world, man. Following the ways of the heathen, the Gentiles. Yep. Right, says, man. And amend your doings, man. So man. you gotta try to make it right with the most high. And continue repenting, man. Each day, rehearsing these righteous acts. Man. I gotta, I gotta preach that, man. You know, and this is the spirit, man, back to back, man. Yeah, uh, this, yeah, let me finish this one. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. And ye shall Oh, kind of like it. Uh and go not after other gods to serve them, and ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers. But ye have not inclined your ear nor hearkened unto me. So he's speaking through the prophets, man, telling you the warning, telling you to repent, to come back to his ways. But these people out here, they'd rather go to these damn church houses, these parlor houses, because Yahweh's not going to man. 
and then they're serving other gods, man. Yeah. They don't know who they're worshiping, man. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead, man. I was saying, yeah, that, that false idolatry, man, you know? They got the, them Harley houses, you know? So, uh, Jesus Cristo, man, that JC character, you know? That Virgin Mary worship, Virgen de Guadalupe, you know? All that other folly, man. Or even uh, Islam, man, worshiping the damn rock. Yup, you know? God, God. Buddha, you know, all that other folly, man, you know? God, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Go ahead. And, and, and the Most High is merciful, man. Yep. He's having the brothers out here, man, under the elder of the pumps thrown down, man. You know, speaking the same thing in truth and sincerity, man. Giving our people a chance, man. Yep. Yep. That's it, man. Giving yep. our people a chance to hear this, right. man, and they just walk past, man. Yep. You know, but that's all right, man. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, and I'll start at 9. It starts at the point. It says the... Hey, that's the spirit, man. I want to... We should just yeah. bring out that uh, a good chunk of that chapter. Right? Which, which where you want me to uh, start? Second right? Peter uh, three. Uh, that's where you're reading. Yeah, that's where I was going. Yeah, I was going to say uh, three, to, three to ten from the shop. Uh, I don't know. What I had it on Google. That's why I'm oh, okay. 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 I wasn't sure what you're going to bring out, Second. but that, that's the spirit, man. Yeah. Spirit has uh, as brothers, you know. We're all on one accord, man. I was going to bring out three and eight, but where you want me to start? Uh, start at uh, three. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter three and verse three. It says, "Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as as they were." From the beginning of creation, these people have been saying, man, all these different generations coming back, man, hey, where's the promise of his coming, man? Yeah. Where is your God, man? And they keep on saying, oh, yeah, my grandma used to say that. Yeah. That. You know, and that's my it. grandma said he was coming 10 years ago, yeah. you know? My granny dead now, he still ain't, you know? But they didn't understand the prophecies, man. The most high is that had to be fulfilled. First of all, second of all, the prophecy have to be fulfilled, as the brother was saying. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we're gonna see who was true and who was a liar. But um, this is verse five, it says, "For this, they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of Yahweh the heavens were, were of old, and the earth standing out of the of the out of the water and in the water, whereby the world." that then was being overflowed with the water perish, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and pre pre perdition of ungodly men. That's right. So he destroyed the world of old in the days of Noah, man, with and that flood. Word, and the word still stood, man. And he only... Saved eight souls, man. And then Noah prophesied, man, unto the people to repent, but they didn't want to come back, man. Hey. They didn't believe in the, the rain that were going to come. As the days of Noah's were, so it would be, man, before the Son of Man come, man. That's right, man. So willingly ignorant, man. Our people are willingly ignorant, man. Destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Yep, God. You're right, man. They don't want to come back to the true heritage of our people, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true children of Israel. That's right. So he destroyed the first uh, world with water, man. And he's coming with fire this time. The first death, yeah. water. Second death is going to be with fire, man. Yeah. yeah. So this is verse 8. It says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. So to the most high, it ain't been much time, man. Yeah. Since how wish I was walk, walking on this earth, man. Yeah, that's right. It's a couple days. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of days, man. Kind, so. His ways is higher than our ways, man. We can't understand. Yeah. But he, he showed up these, these uh, secrets and stuff to the surface. Yeah, that's why it says, but beloved, be you not ignorant. Beloved, he's talking about the elect, man. Yeah, that's yeah. who he loves, first and foremost. Right. Okay, this is verse 9. 
it says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. What he says is going to happen is going to happen. It says, as some men count slackness, they think just because the Most High hasn't came yet. Yep. It said 2012 was supposed to 20, uh, 20, 2000, that something was going to happen. You know? Yeah, that's, that's why it says, woe to you that have lost your patience, man. Because yep. they, they think that they're going to come into this truth and, and you know, salvation's going to come the next day. Like, yep. No, you got to. Oh, man. That's yep. a lot that got to, yeah. It's a lot that has to happen. You got to understand these things have to be fulfilled, man. But it says, and I continue, it says, but it's long suffering to, uh, toward us, not willing that any should perish. That's why we have, that's why he has the prophets and the men of the Lord out here, man, showing mercy, you know, because not willing that any should perish. He don't want no people, but he is predestination, man. You know, yeah, he, he has th good things for our people in mind, man. But right now, two thirds have to taste that death by pain, man, and then get it in the kingdom. And it says, but that all should come to repentance, man. And the only people that's gonna be coming to this repentance right now is the hopeful elect. That's right, long suffering, man. So the Heavenly Father, man, is long suffering. Watching our people go up, all right? Having to endure that, man, and uh, quote unquote, as the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing, holding his tongue, all right? As it says that he will hold his tongue no more. So, uh, the judgments. Yeah, exactly. So in these latter days, man, all right, Heavenly Father, that visitation of the earth, okay, so on and so forth. These things, man, these prophecies that are popping up the page. Okay, yeah, you just remind me of uh, uh, John 17 and 15. It says, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. That's right, man. Thou shalt pray for his men, man. God. And ultimately, ultimately, for the men that's not going to taste death. Damn. For that man that's going to transition right from this body into the next, man. Mm -hmm. yep. Says they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Right. The hope we elect, man, we out of this world, man, chosen from the foundation of this world, man. Yep. To receive the salvation, man. By your how about Shem Al Shai, man. Yeah. Come, man. This second Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. That's what's going on, man. All hell and destruction, man. The missiles, man. And it says, and the elements shall melt with heat. Yeah, that's the man. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What's the elements, man? Everything you can see, touch, feel, man, all of that, man. These these things that are made up on this earth, ultimately this earth, man, is talking yeah, about, man. Right. That's heavy, man, because actually, a little quick testimony, I had a dream last night. The fact that I was looking up at the sky, I was back in my hometown, and I was looking up at the sky, man, and I seen like six or seven jets up in the sky, making a little formation, and all of a sudden, a big old huge father ship, man, pops out of nowhere, and starts laying, laying it down. Yeah, man. Started laying it down, man. Chariots are gonna be zapping people too. Started man. blasting this place up, man. I was like, chariots of the Lord, man. Oh. And that was pretty much the end of it, man. I, I pretty much woke up as as, as this father shit, man. This huge chariot, man, so-called UFO, man, I was laying down, freaking blasting this place with freaking oh, yeah. fire, man. That yeah. laser beams, man. You know, Babylon's gonna be, you know, destroyed, never inhabited again. But you're gonna have a lot of uh, these other places, you know, even in Europe and etc. Being uh you know, bombed and a lot of places are going to be in destruction. The whole world is going to be relic to and fro like a drunk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's part of those uh, powers of the East moving westward, man. Like they say, from one end of this earth onto the other end, man. All hell and destruction, man. Bodies in the street. No funerals, man. Yeah. That's what's coming, man. That's right. So prepare, man. Yeah, all right. Let's see. It says, and the element, let's Second Peter chapter three and verse 10, run it back. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Woo. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Yeah, you see all, all these cars and shit? Burnt up, man, destroyed. Everything, man. And Hopefully, elect man, 
on them chariots, man, looking down, man. God. At the sea of glass mingled with fire, man. God. This whole place is gonna be burning, man. God. Hey, you know, through the spirit, I just gotta bring this out, man. You know, this is the book of Malachi, chapter 4, and verse 1. It said, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai of hosts, the Lord of armies, that it shall leave them neither roots nor branch. Burnt up to a right. crisp. Man. Burnt That's up. Bad. So this bad. world is going to burn up. Babylon the Great, aka America, is going to be burnt up by a burnt repent, Israel. Woo! Better repent, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, better repent to them. The power of Israel. These elements shall melt, man. Right. Uh, Everything, man, uh, is gonna be melted. And what's that movie actor? The Terminator one? Oh, uh, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Judgment hey, Day, Judgment yeah, Day man. bro. <laughs> you, see, you got that video right on? Yeah, you know, you're standing there, everything is blowing up. Oh yeah, I got that. Yeah, you seen it on my camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, got it, I got it, man. You know, they're, they're saying that their flesh shall melt off their body, man. Eyes melting in their heads, yeah, yeah. tongues. Man. Oh, right. man, these people are gonna be burnt to a crisp. I don't know if you've seen, brothers. Yeah, that's it, man. On SpongeBob, the old thing that was in the wheelchair, <laughs> you know what I mean, the granny thing. You know what I'm talking about? Right, right, right. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff, you know what I'm talking about? You, 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 go, you know, man. That's how that's how people gonna be looking, man. Yeah, man. This crew, man. Yeah, man. Burn the hell up with the crew. Man, man, you saw that, uh, you saw that, that picture that, that chick you got burned up. I gotta get that. She got caught on fire by uh, her husband. Oh, she, yeah. that yeah. barbecue thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got married to a damn Edomite, yeah, and yeah. the dude freaking uh, accidentally lit her on fire when he was pouring gasoline on, on the barbecue pit, man. And she she burnt up, man, looking like a damn uh, mummy and shit, man. Yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That stuff is heavy, bro. So imagine that, bro, but a burn as an oven, so it's not like your little convectional oven that goes up to 550, man. Nah, we're talking... <laughs> that, that, this, this is how people are gonna be looking, man. Gotta, this, is how, this is how people are gonna be looking through, man. Without the wheelchair, man. No. Laying in the street, man. Done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So this place definitely gonna get burnt. The fuck uh, up. So this dude, I, she's married to a uh, uh, white, uh, so called white Edomite. Uh, he burned her with the. On the um, oh, yeah. And that's it, man. Like I said, the, oh, yeah. these uh, convection yeah, oven, man. Chick. Going up to. She's, she's uh, married to this Edomite. Yep. He lit her on fire, man. Yeah, burnt up, man. You and know, this is okay. what happened to her. Probably, and they're probably cooking some abominable foods, too. <laughs> That's how she look after, man. Hey, and with ain't... the Lord's oven, Ooh. man, hey, hey, going to melt up. Happened. That's judgment right there, huh. man. And look at that. She got blonde mm. hair after, man. This right here is hell, man. Yeah, oh, no. God, this man. is what this is some this is some people's hell, some people's heaven, man. Yep. And that right there where he with the brother just showed that lady. That's her hell, man. That's the most I have fight. her come back looking uh, like uh, going through some men and looking like that for the rest of your uh, life, lady. Sure, with that damn Edomite. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's judgment, though, you know? Yeah, like I said, probably out there cooking some baby back ribs and some lobster. You know some, the lady that got her face snatched off by the monkey? Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, she yeah, just yeah. looking through now. That's judgment, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's a fearful thing to fall into yes. the hands of the living power, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's it, man. So, yeah, man. It'll mess you up, man. Yeah, exactly, man. So I gotta walk, you know. Try to stay on the straight path, man. You know. Try to try to make this, try to make it through, man. This race, man. This marathon, man. There's a lot of judgment going out heavy right now, man. Yeah. And you know, Jake thinks it's just a regular thing. You know, you recognize that the Lord's turning up, man. I, I know. Yeah, just the other night. Yeah, the other night, just right here around the corner. Bro, the love of many waxing cold. He yeah, left, 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 left in a body bag, man. Blasted his friend, man. No, no yep. hesitation, man. He, that was, it was in his own apartment, man. Evil spirit yeah. hopped yeah. on that man to do yeah. that, man. The most high ordained that spirit to him, yeah. man. Partaking in father, who knows, man. You know? So that's so. why you got to be careful who you're yeah. around, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because when the Most High judges people, he can get that person and get whoever else is around, man. That angel will come and, and, and kill people, man. Yep. Just because you're around that, that person, man. Just That's that right. right there, your spirit not being right could get you judged too, man. Yep. Watch who you be around. Yep. Right. We're going to keep on going, though. This is verse 11 in 2 Peter chapter 3. This is verse 11. Oh, that was it. I this, this, oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's a little bit more. Right, it get says, some, get some more meat on the bone, man. Meat seeing, on the bone. seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversations and godliness, yeah. looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of, of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwell of righteousness. Right, right. right. So this place is gonna be clean, man, with that fire. Yup. That right, man, that cleansing agent gonna come through, man, and set this place right, man. Dude, that's the beginning of it, man. Righteous rulership gonna Purging come in because person of wickedness out of this world, man. Exactly, man, because we don't dwell in a, in, a, in a world of righteousness, man. Righteousness is not profitable to these people, man. You know, two-thirds of our people going to perish. These are the heathen nations, man. They don't understand righteousness. They don't understand judgment from the Heavenly Father. So that's why he's going to have to lay down that fervent heat, man. Have to, you know, burn this place to a crisp, man. You know, going to have to bring on that righteousness, man, all right? Because looking for the new heavens, man, the new earth. You know, that new Jerusalem, all right? So that's what we're after, man, and that promise, man, because it's promised, man, through our through our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? That forefather, and, and ultimately to the seed line of Jacob. That's one more. Let me just no? get this one more. Okay, go ahead, right? Verse 14, wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be vigilant, that ye may be found of him in peace, Without spot and blameless, man. Right, right man. So that's part. That's a big reason why we can't be, uh, you know, mixing up these different philosophies, man. Mm -hmm. Trying to learn from all these different camps that don't have the truth, man. Yeah. Mixing these different uh, religions, just wanting to have all the the wisdom of the world, man. Looking up every damn philosophy, Egyptology, everything, man. Yeah. Under the sun. Yeah. And ultimately, man, keeping these words, man. Keep on reading the Book of Mormon, everything, yeah. right? That's a, you know, the Book of Enoch, the Tibetan yeah. Book of the Dead, yeah. you know, so on and so forth, man, you know? And how we're not blameless is keeping the words of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, man. Because yeah. every man is, uh, uh, what is that? Every, uh, may the most high be true and every man a liar, man. Yeah, that's right. right. Every man is, every word that comes out of man's mouth. If it ain't the words of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, man, and these scriptures, man, it, 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 everything else you can blame, man, except for this word, man. Yeah, yeah, you can't right. blame this word. And we're kept blameless say, uh, by keeping these words, what man. What did the scripture say? Knowledge of this world is uh, it's foolishness, foolishness with the most high, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, man. That's we're it. not looking to keep this knowledge and these things that we've learned from these devils, man. Yeah. We're looking for that new wisdom, that new knowledge, man, that's given, man. By your how about Shem Al Shai through the men, man, that he has set up, man. Yeah. Going down. We're, we're learning the ways and preparing for for the new world that's coming, man. Yeah. That's, God, right, that's man. what we're going to have knowledge in, man. God, rehearsing the righteous acts because we want to be above that elect number to be made righteous rulers and judges God, in the God. kingdom to come. Hey, you're an Israelite, brother. Huh? You know you're an Israelite, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. You know, man. Kingdom citizen. Citizen. We're, we're not in the kingdom right now, man. Right. Yeah, that's we're right. not in the kingdom we're right the kingdom, now. Kingdom, kingdom, yeah, this yeah, is it's gonna kingdom be here right on now. earth. You're right. It's gonna be here. Yeah, we're here in hell right here, man. This is Africa. Yeah, man. Where are you from? Me? Yeah. Where are you from? Yeah, from the kingdom of heaven. We're part of Africa, man. From the kingdom of heaven. We're not even. We're not in the kingdom yet, man. We're in hell, man. We're in the white man's world. This Babylon, we are right now, man. You read the Bible? No, we're Bible? not in the kingdom, man. You read the Bible? Yeah, some people's heaven, some people's hell. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, you leveling it up right repent. now. Hey, the, Lord, it, the, Lord, the Lord gave you, you a gotta prophet. Repent. It's just you, my lord. Yeah, I'm the brother Nathan. Huh? Yes, yeah, what's your name? I'm the what's brother Nathan. Yeah, yeah. My lot. What's, what's your name? Nice to meet you. My name is Zach. Zach? Yeah, okay, hey, man. Nice to meet you, 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 man. Nice
when I was young, but someone in your family uh, passed away. That's what everybody, I'm pretty sure everybody uh, has yeah, somebody yeah, passed away. Here we go with the spirits. Uh, yeah. The spirits well, trying well, to so, the so, familiar so, spirits. So, hey, so, so do you believe in that? You worship the image Jesus. of Jesus. That's God? not his name, man. Do you worship? You don't get him. Do you worship? Do you worship that name? Yeshua. Yeshua. Yeshua means Joshua, man. That's not the name of the Lord. But I came to tell you guys, listen. But do you do you worship the image of so-called Jesus? No, I can't. You know what he looks like? Do you? And you know what? If you read the Bible. Oh, uh, we don't read the Bible. We read this. Okay, go, go to the back. Go, go to the. Wait, what, wait. what do you want me to bring out? What you uh, trying to. What, uh, show me, you show me that Jesus let's loves hear, everybody. Let's hear. What, what do you want to bring out? What do you want to see? Let's hear. What do you want to see? What do you got? Let's hear it, man. Let's hear it. Do you know what some called Jesus looks like? If you can show me in the Bible right now, I'll give you $100. If you can show me that Jesus loves everybody in this in scripture. Look, you trying to, you hear that? Yeah, so go to John 3.16. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, let's go to it. Oh, man. Go ahead and read it. I'm going to pull it up right now. Go ahead and read it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get that. Go ahead and read that. You got anything else? I got the eyes Go ahead. Read it. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Read it. What does it say? What, what does it say? Read it. I want you to hear it. Read it with with oomph, with man. Read it like you mean it, bro. Let's hear it. Hold on. Definition of the word world going into the Greek, which means cosmos. The word world going into cosmos. You know what that means? It says a wide, narrow sense, including its inhabitants. Okay, right? So who are the inhabitants? And who is this book written for? You know what this book was written for? The Israelites. Let me hear through Israelites. Let me go ahead. Twelve tribes. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter forty-five and verse seventeen. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. That's the world is talked about in John three sixteen. Israel, our right. own people, our own cosmos, our own, our own everything. You got something out there in the world. You got the book of Joel two and twenty seven. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord, your power, and none else. He's not the God of no other nation no. but the Israelites. You no got cut. No one else. This is the book of Saint Matthew. Say Matthew 15 and 24, but Yahweh Shai Hamashiach answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So the only begotten son is not sent for anyone else but the house of Israel. So not for the whole world. All right, this All right. is the book of second Ezra chapter 3 and verse 36. Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept my precepts, but not the heathen. This Ooh. word is not for you. I don't think you really know the Bible, man. You don't know the, the Lord. You don't know the Holy Scripture, man. Yahweh Shah loves his men the children, and the children of Israel. That's right. The elect he said, attitude of God. 17 and 9 reads, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, yes. but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. He's not praying for everybody. He prayed for the 
the men, so children, you, and women are go with that, that damn Christianity you love everybody, listen, love the world, man. Right. You love evil, man. Listen, 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 listen. Where's your scriptures at? Let's it says, love the good, hate the evil, man. I like this guy. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. That's right. So let's hear this. Second Esther chapter like six. You, this is Second Esther <laughs> chapter six and verse fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So everyone springs out of Adam, right? Says, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. The children of Israel. The Heavenly Father has a chosen people. Let's get Deuteronomy. Was it chapter four? Eighteen nations. Eighteen that. nations uh, were created. Above all nations. He only chose one of those eighteen nations. And right. the children this of Israel. This is verse 55. All this I have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. That's our right. sex, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Americans, and the rest of the seven and six reads, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. Listen. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people right. that are Ooh. upon the face That's of right. the earth. Above who? Above all, all people. people. Above yes. all people. Right. That's right. So the Heavenly Father does not love the entire world as he does Israel, okay? This is the... the same book, Second Exodus chapter six and verse fifty-six. Well, you as, you a chance, but yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah. as for the as for the other people, as for the other people, which second Exodus chapter six and fifty-six. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said, flee. thou hast said. They are nothing but be like unto spittle. Be like unto spit. Guess what? That's right. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. That's right, man. So, that's right. So, he has likened them unto spittle. Look, this is the book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whoever... Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Let's see who he's talking to. Verse 22, ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh shall of Nazareth, a man approved by Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which Yahweh have did by him in the midst of you, as, as ye yourselves also know. He's talking to the Israelites. Only, it says in verse 21, and it shall come to pass that whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Man, he's talking to the Israelites. Hey, man, let's, Verse let's see what, hey, hey, hold on, one more. It says, this is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. That's Lift right. up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression right. and the house of so Jacob their sin. The house of Jacob. Defend your Jesus. Let's go. Let's Defend hear it. Where, where you got? Where's your scripture? Let, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Jesus, what did you say? Uh, He's not. <laughs> so you don't believe in the Heavenly Father? You don't believe in the Heavenly He's Father? The Lord, but God and Jesus are, are two separate They're just, entities, man. Listen, I love this. Christian doctrines, man. Yeah, they're going off, Christian man. Christian doctrines, man. I'm not, oh, trying, no. I'm not trying to win nothing, man. And what do we just need? The house. The voice of the Lord, man. Right, man. Right. You're coming Show. up against the men of the Lord trying to come with your reject precepts. Yeah. Talking right, about John 3 16 and don't even understand the interpretation thereof. All right, bro. Hey, the Heavenly Father's going to destroy ahead, you unless you repent. Hey, bro. Hey, 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 what do you got? Listen, what do you got? Let's hear it. Listen, what do you got? Listen. False prophet. Let's hear it. Listen. How do you show the most high level? No, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. Listen. Is it possible to love God and hate your brother? We, we, you no, know, no, no, no. Answer is it possible to love the Heavenly Father and hate our brother? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, hey, let's hear it. No, what is it? Psalm, what is it? Psalm uh, 93? First John. Let's listen. This is uh, Amos 5 and 15. Hate the evil and love the good Read and the establish first. judgment in the gate. That's that's right. Hate the evil, love that's the good. good. That's, that's good. right. That's right. right. We hate oh, We got a lot of our people. And that's that what the King David said. This is what King David said, man. Okay, but hold on. Our people, I let you guys. I our people guys. that don't do the will of the Lord hates the most high. Okay, good. And so you ask, do you hate your brother? I hate them that hate the most high. This is the book of Psalms, is, okay. chapter 139 and verse 21. Okay. Do not, I hate them, O oh Lord, that hate thee. Yeah, that's right. And am, am not, I grieve with those okay. that rise up against thee. Okay. I hate them with a with perfect hatred. Okay. Right. I count them my enemies. Woo! That's right. 
man. Those who come up against the Heavenly Father, yeah. as you do, okay, we we are, you are counted as an enemy. I love you guys. That's right, man. Hey, we only love those who do the commandments of the Heavenly Father. All right, those are the children of Israel. If it, if a man said, I love you, Howard, and hate of his brother, he is a liar. You gotta understand. Keep reading, keep reading. Keep reading. Who is thy brother? Keep reading. Thy bro that's right. Keep that's scripture. Reading. Who that's is right. thy brother and my, thy right. mother? Right. But that's them right. who do the will of the Most High. That's if right. you're not doing the will of the Most High, you're that's not my brother. Yeah, that's and if right. you're coming with your false doctrines and your, and your fake precepts and your fake brother, saying you're a, you're a prophet, saying you hear the Most High, you coming thinking you know my life because you got familiar spirits. Listen. You don't know me. Yeah, how about Shai knows, man? You had the Holy Spirit, just like that one God came that last time, man. That's for you, man. And trying to say he was a prophet, man. And the Most High used the word through me to show that, man. You was a prophet. Hey, we got a zeal, man. We're passionate about this, man. You ain't got it, man. You ain't got it. You ain't got it, man. This your heaven, man. You're not oppressed. That's right, man. You're not oppressed. This is your word. You're a part of Esau's kingdom. Matthew 12 and 46. Go ahead. Well, yeah, he talked to the one people. More, one more, one more, one more, real quick. One more. Go ahead, bro, finish it. says, more. Behold, his mother and his brethren stood without right. desiring to speak with him. Bring it out. And then one said unto another, unto, unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto them, that Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother, my sister, and mother. Yes, sir. Right. 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 So you're not doing the will of the Heavenly Father by, my brother. by calling on that false name. You're not going to try to Israel. You're a Hamite. You're a Hamite, and you're stuck with that Jesus spirit. You got cut. We done brought out damn near 16 priests <laughs> Cutting this man and the devil is still right here uh, trying to. Uh, hey, what you got in that bag? You probably got some. You probably got some shrimp rolls or something in there. Huh? What you got, there, man? You got some pork in there. What do you got, man? Go, go eat your food, man. It's getting, it's getting cold, man. But it's getting cold, man. He got his piggy loafers on. Go get your food, man. It's getting cold, man. Hey, this ain't for you. The Holy Bible ain't for you. Did you bring any scriptures? Bring a scripture. Oh, you had me read first John four and twenty, and you question? didn't even know who was talking oh, about. Can I ask you a question? Yes, ask a question. What scripture did Moses read? Eh? What scripture did he read yeah. from? He read from yeah Moses. Moses. Yeah. Okay. He was given the Torah. Right? The Torah. So well, here's my books of the Bible. Right? The Torah. What scripture did Adam and Eve read? What's your point? Where are you getting that? Adam and Eve. What's, yeah, what's your point? What's your point? Yeah, what's your point? Adam and Eve. What's your point? We know. We know. I'm asking. He's trying to ask those questions that are not. You're not. Those questions you're asking are not right now. Yeah, no, no. You literally said God did not write the whole Bible. Did God write the whole Bible? It was speaking the word. It's the word of the Heavenly Father. Okay. Yes. So what Bible did he read? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yo, yeah, see, he's yeah. trying to, yeah, you're yeah, trying to go, he's you're trying to, no, I'm he's trying to do away with the word of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. ran yeah. for the scrolls, yeah. bro. They have yeah, scrolls yeah. back yeah. in, bro. What, what? See, see, what you're doing now? He's trying hey, to say the name. What's the name? What? What? Yeah, yeah, what scripture? Okay. You have a reprobate spirit. spirit. This, this, you have a reprobate this spirit. is Isaiah 8 and 20. No, no. To what? the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no life in them. What, what word? What word did Adam and Eve read? That's right, man. What word, word did Adam and Eve read? Let's get back to him. This is the book of Romans, chapter 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, I beg you, brethren, mark, God's feet, brother. mark, them, brother. mark brother. them, mark them which cause divisions. Brother. This man is causing divisions, brother. okay? So you gotta mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine. Who is Jesus? So this is what I want you. I'm gonna repeat this. When you go Romans 16, 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them. Which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. You wrote the Bible? It was given by the of the Spirit. Avoid them. This is 2 John 1 and 10. What scripture did the prophets read? Bring it up. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God's speed. So we're not going to bid this devil any God's speed, man. We're not going to... 
know, we should, you know, that that direct, 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 no. direct, uh, uh, yeah. reprobate, yeah. Yeah. So reprobate so mark, the most high. Uh, so, okay, so is God the same yesterday, today, and yeah. 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 His people are the same. So, so, so if God is the same yesterday, today, yeah. and forevermore, exactly. and God yeah, spoke to them like this, then why, what makes you think you're going to The Heavenly Father ain't working with you, bro. Hey, you ain't got it, man. You're a Go and turn your lunch, bro. You're finna try the hell. You sold the Israelites to a white man, and got them scattered all around the world. That's what you said. people are going into... If God, right. if God is That's the right. same, we just give you a gift right now. You, hey, if God is the same, you know that there's going to be slavery in the kingdom of heaven. You're going to be a slave. You're going to be a slave. Oh, you want to know what I got? You don't know any of this. Oh, this word is not for you. I will. Go ahead. Y'all are trying to lock right now. That's right. What scripture? Come on, man. Adam and Eve's face is done, man. You are going to be a minister. And the people also who come from Adam, thou hast said, they are nothing. That be like unto spittle, or liken them unto the abundance that drop it from a vessel. There's no light in this man. You heathen are going into slavery. Stop trying to use our book and flip it. You a false prophet, smiling, walking up and down the street. How about you know shot your luck right now? You're done. You and your penny loafers can have a good day. <laughs> I am in the kingdom, man. This dude, man. These people are bugged the fuck out, man. Bugged out, man. And done. Through. The most high can handle with all types of combos. Right. All types of combos. He said that to my brother. Oh, you're not. I don't know you. These spirits coming up trying to try us, man. We're going we gonna to fear the most high and keep his commandments to do this will, man. I love, love that, man. Love it. And rebuke that devil, man. The wicked flee, man. It was time for him to go. Love this work. Love doing this work for the most high. The whole boss, Jimmy House shot. Woo! We standing tall. And we stand strong for this word and for your high by Shimmy Al Shai, man. Standing the God, man. That's it. All right, man. Tell that devil to go eat his damn swine and get the hell out of here. Yeah, man, Mambuku. Yeah. Go stick your head up a cow ass. <laughs> Let a cow piss on your head, man. God, man. Like the fucking hand out there, man. Eating dirt, man. Yeah. That's yeah. these people. That's their judgment, man. Because yeah. they rounded up the children of Israel and sold us off, man. That's right. All right, man. That's why that was going into slavery, That's man. Right. Yep. Heavenly, Heavenly Father's going to judge you down. Right. Yeah. You think he's speaking in tongues, man? Because. The Heavenly Father's going to kill his ass, because. and then he's going into That's slavery. That's right, man. He's got, he's got these damn plagues, and he's going to burn up in that fire, His man. sweet Jesus, right? He's going into slavery, man. Right. Get the fuck out of here. No. Woo! Lock it, man. But, hey, that, man. that really, it, it gets brothers riled up, man. You know? Exactly. These people really try to come with the word of the Most High that was given to His people, God. and He trying to use our word against us to try to show us something that He didn't even know anything about. I'll eat every damn Christian, man. John three sixteen, man. These Christians don't have nothing to say to us, man. Then we know Woo. these dark sayings. We know the the hidden things, man. That's right, man. Yeah, how about Shem Al Shai is with us, man? Woo. None what? of these things, none of these people, man, are gonna hold us back, man. Right, man. Come and with that bullshit Christian doctrine, that Catholic doctrine, right. that 501c3 doctrine, perverting the word Jesus and leading our people to their man. destruction, man. All right? Uh -huh. so, we don't worship that damn homosexual Jesus. That's right. right man. With the long hair and the fragile body. That's right. That's in a skirt. That's we don't worship him. That's right. That's Caesar Bosheria, that That's false right, prophet. Man. All right, right. we right. worship Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. That's right. The real image of the Lord is in the book of Revelations, verse, uh, chapter 1, verse 9. That's right, right. Revelation 1. All right, Hamashiach, the only begotten son, was a so called Negro man, all right, right, from the tribe right. of Judah. A Nazarite. They said, How can anything good come out of Nazareth? Our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shah did. That's right, man. The greatest man to ever live. Right, man. You got it. You know, <laughs> I was gonna tell his ass too. I'm gonna walk around here with a 
cleaned up all fucking shaved face and shit, man. Get the fuck out of here with that, man. Hey, you know yeah, what I'm we, saying? That's why we try the spirits, man. Yeah, you know? Uh, you can tell he's a damn Hamite. Yeah, because you know? there are some yeah. brothers in South Africa, man, that yeah, are yeah. Israelites. Uh, from but we try the spirit by the spirit, man. That yeah. man had a demon on him. Kay. Didn't have not one lick of the Israelite spirit on him. Kay. Yeah, he didn't have the truth, man. Now, a lot of them Hamites, man, have a whiff in that Christian doctrine, man. The other Hamites from the other day, man, I'm like, you understand your people sold our people? He's like, well, that doesn't even matter. These people know what they did to us, man. Yeah, that's right. They teaching their people out there what the fuck. They, they know the truth, man. Yeah, These other yeah. nations, they know what they're doing. Yeah. They know, man. Yeah. They know, man. Yeah. And they're trying to act like we don't. We know what's going on, man. Yeah. They think that they can escape that judgment, man. Y'all yeah. know, man. That's right. That's why they're trying they to build that, happy, man. that damn underground bunker. You're going to have to pay for the sins of you and your forefathers, That's man. right. Prepare slaughter for the children for the inequity of your fathers. Your fathers put our people into slavery. That's You're right. going down. Woo! Right. You're going down. That's right. Your people, all these other nations have our people in slavery. You're going into slavery. That's right. That was Father said, according to the book of Psalms 149. Let's go and bring that out. That man, and uh, you know, it's like you pardon, pardon the Italian man, but you know, we got that spirit, man, all right? This is, uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 149 reads, Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, sing unto the Lord a new song. That's and right. The praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Woo. Israel. Not any of these other nations, man. Yep. Just let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. That's right, his people, man. His so, people. Right, the children of Israel, the 12 tribes, all right? His people. Isaiah 45 and 17. Says, let, uh, what did it say? Uh, uh, we get it, we get it, we get it. Let the saints be joyful in, the, in glory. Let them seek oh, yeah. aloud upon their beds. Let the praises of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. These people had yokes of iron on our necks. That's right. Right. Fetters of iron, rusted chain. That's right. And Esau beat him so called white man. He wants to erase those books, man. He yeah. doesn't want to teach that saying? history in, in the schools anymore, man. Yeah. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must, must be killed by the sword. sword. Here right. is the patience. In the face of the saints, and you have by Shimmy man. Woo. man. That's yep. it. And that, that was his blessing, man, the sword. Mm -hmm. You That's know? Fair. But he's going to fall upon his own sword, like in the, the book of Job, man. Yep, that's right, you know, man. The 20 chapter goes in on that, man. It's going to yep. go right back on his head, man. Everything that these people have done to the children of Israel, man, they're going to drink of the cup of the wrath of the Most High, man. Yep. And two thirds of all people don't want to hold hands with these motherfucking. That got us, that got their foot on our neck. That's man. right, man. With that damn Christianity trying to teach Bullshit. us to love the world, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I was trying to love nobody but it, but, that's but, it, an but then that was given to him, man. That's an effeminate ass man. Yeah. Fucking God. You know? Fucking stand. They want to love the world. They want to love wickedness. They want to love their oppressors, man. You pray not for the world, man. Shit. Yeah. Over here talking about, oh, I'm, I'm from the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Kingdom of heaven, yeah. You from the kingdom, man. Yeah, you, you're gonna be going into the darkness. Shit, man. You think this is heaven, man? Hell no. This is the land of our captivity. Hey, hey, man. Hey, hey, really? He's a damn heathen, man. This is yep. his heaven, man. God damn, hey, you're right, man. This, this, his ass is going into chains, man. Shit, his ass He cool. walking over here, got his little, you know, candy loafers on, thinking he, I'm going to church, man. Yep. No. Oh, pretty ass. The most high had you walk over here. He walked this way first. 
and came back and got cut the hell up. Hey, That's the spirit uh, of the most high. I'm having to give him his judgment, man. Hey, I bet you he did have some damn strength in that bowl, man. <laughs> I bet you he had some. He's about to go hit it past the pork berry up in there, man. You got some of that. What you eat, man? You're about to eat some fucking fried shrimp. You got some shrimp. He's going to eat the whole shrimp, too. You know how they eat the head and the rest. He ain't eat the whole thing. He's about to kill it all, man. He's probably going to jump out of his you, ain't go, you can't confuse the men of the Lord, man. Right, we right. know these scriptures, man. Give them by your high by Shem Al Shah, man. The water, your high by Shem Al Shah. Call out your high by Shem Al Shah. That's right, man. You know? Allah, your high by Shem Al Shah, man. Yep. That he's right. able to bestow these words and this truth and reveal it to the to, to me and my brothers, man. That's right. Yep. You know? This is a beautiful we, we, thing, man. This is our family, man. Yep. Right. What did y'all say? You hate your brother? I hate all those that hate the most high, man. Right. And his son. Right. Right, right. You know? With a perfect hatred. Right. See, when you try to, you try to act like he's spiritual, man, and then he's coming at you with that carnal shit, man. Uh, yeah, so, my right. brother, you're a surprise. Good to see you, man. Okay, thanks. He's going to get it, too. Uh, Esau right here. He just, you know? God, man. Oh, and you see that? Emma, he tried somebody, too, brother. Because you tried to get all over. Oh, you're so far. Oh, you're so far. Trying me and stuff yeah. like that, man. Yeah, he's trying to take you out of the spirit, man. That's all right, though, because you have my shit out of the spirit. That's right, bro. That's why you can't care. And these damn Christians, they don't understand the passion that we got to have, man. Especially when these damn people come with their division, man. Trying to stir up strife within the brothers, man. Oh, my God, it's true, man. Hey, tell the world. I had to wait 40 minutes. Hey, come on, now, stay in the spirit, man. Where was he at, man? We might as well get back. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get, uh, I had, uh, Luke. I wanted to get, uh, Luke, uh, Luke, uh, Luke. Uh, right, so, so uh, started at 43. But, uh, to go back and quote the brother, I was lucky for that. So I see this guy every week here. And, uh, anyways, going back to Isaiah 45 and 17. Says, but Israel shall be saved by the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be shamed nor confounded. World without end. We that world without end, man. That right. everlasting man. Right. You know through Yahweh Shem Shai, man, that gives us the eternal life, man, that we're gonna receive, man. Abu man. That's right. You know. That's right. And also Israel, man, all right? That is the nation, all right, that the Heavenly Father has a covenant with, man, all right? Those, Everlasting covenant. Right. Those are the people of the scripture, man, that salvation is for, man, all right? That the, the kingdom, man, is going to be, you know, built for, man, man everlasting salvation, man. An everlasting kingdom, man, under yep. the Habash and Yep, that's right, man, that's right. So it ain't, you know, the quote-unquote whole world, all right? John 3.16, man, so often misused by these Christian churches, man, these Catholic churches, so on and so forth, man, all right? The Heavenly Father does not love the whole world, man, and all the people in it, all right? Stop, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, buddy. You want me to get the loop or you? Uh, yeah, fuck the show. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, and verse 43. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. That's, that's his service, man. That's the prophet doing his work, man. Doing Those, the will of the Father, man. And the sisters, yeah. man, that are learning in silence and subjection, man. Yep. That's right, man. So, right. Yeah, we're, uh, we're seeking the Lord, man. We're we're gonna we're waiting patiently for that kingdom, man. We're yep. waiting for the Lord to cast judgment upon these damn heathen nations, man. We're waiting on that salvation, ultimately. We're hoping, man, and we're trying to uh, make our, our election sure, man, by yep. doing this work. Making our calling election sure. We're humbly seeking it and uh, hastening the day of our, the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahusha HaMashiach, and the holy angels. So we, we await the day that the Heavenly Father sends them, because no man knoweth the hour. So we got to continue to serve Yahweh Shem Yahushah day in and day out to the absolute best of our ability according to the proportion of our faith. Daily sacrifices, man. Right. Get that daily bread, man. Right. You know, trying to make ourselves meet for the master's use. Yup, God. Yep. Every day, when man, be occupied, man. Yep, yep. God. Right, man. Do something, man. Right, Watch man. a video, do a lesson, man. Yeah, man. Go out, hit the highways, right. man. 
You know, something. whatever you could do for the most high, man. You know, because every every brother has a different proportion of faith and a different talent. That's right, now bro. some thirty fold, some sixty fold, some hundred fold. Mm -hmm. All right, but use that talent, build on it, break right, increase. Right. We're getting folded up, it up. Right. We're gonna use nigga. How about some outside? Man. That's right. We're not gonna hold back the sword from blood. That's right. We're gonna stand stiff, man. That's right. This word is a double edged sword, man. Ooh. Cut that damn hell right up, man. <laughs> That's right, man. We yeah, had yeah. the armor. You how about Shimei That's right. Him and that freaking God is love doctrine, man. All that feminine spirit, man. All that weak. Hell, yeah, he, man. he don't know the most side, man. Exactly. He don't know that the Lord is a man of war. Pursuit of Exodus 15 and 3. All right? That's right. Yeah, want to uh, continue on? Yeah. This verse 44 in, in Luke chapter 12. It says... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, 44. 37. 37. Uh, 12 and 37. Right. Uh, Luke chapter 12 and 37. Blessed are those servants. Oh, it's a lot to you. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Luke 12 and, and 44. Of a truth I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he has. Right. right. Boys gonna hook brothers up, man. Yep. All right, man. That's, That's right, why man. We'll, we'll patiently wait. We'll suffer all these things that we have to suffer, man. These scoffers, mm -hmm. these people that come up against the word of the Lord. Uh -huh. You know, the Lord's gonna hook us up, I want man. that penny. Yeah. Do you know what that penny, a heavenly penny is, man? The world he promised us, yeah, man. man. He promised us eternal life, man. Yeah. To rule with him, man, in the kingdom, man. And in the Father's house, there are many mansions. That's right, brothers. That's right. So shit, brothers are gonna get those uh, spiritual bodies, man. It's gonna be bright burning motherfuckers out here, man. Verse 45. But, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord, the layup is coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maids, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken, the Lord, of that servant will come in, in a day when he looked up not for him as a thief in the night. And it says, and at an hour when he is not aware and will cut him in asunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbeliever. That's right, man. So we got to stay on the plow. That's right. In this work, man. You can't fall off the job, man. You can't get in and, and stop doing the work. The scripture says, he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved, man. You That's put right, your hands on the plow, you want to do this work, and you're high by Shem right, you better do it to the ability that you have by Shem is giving you to the best of that ability, too. That's right. Because the Lord, if you fall out, man, he's going to come, come down on you heavy with that judgment, man. It's better that you never knew the truth, man. And he's gonna give that portion and that spirit to somebody else, man, to to fulfill the work. That's right. Verse forty-six. The Lord of that. Oh no, I'm sorry. Forty-seven. Read that. 47. Yeah. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. Right. What's that, Hebrew? Hold on, man. Hebo. Hebo. Remember me? What's up, bro? What's up? Hey. This, this brother's name is Hebrew. Yeah. Hebrew. Oh, shit. Hey, that's how you know. I knew this brother right. when I yeah. used to stay out here, man. He remembers I used to be fucked up, man. Yeah. Out here doing gang banging, all types yeah. of stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hebrew. 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 Hebrew.
Yeah. Wishing he could be out here, man. That's right. He had the spirit on him, man. The spirit, man. Yep. He's going to be saved, man. Most high willing, man. But you got these damn people that call themselves Israelite, man. That are young, able bodied, and they ain't out there doing the work, man. They want to say that they have a truth, man, and he's folding up in that action, man. Man, he stands stiff, man, for this word, man. You confess, you confess your how shine, and he gonna confess you before the most high. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's why we out here, man. That's why, man, to do the will of the father, man. That's right, man. And the son, man. God. God, God exactly, because you know, like you're going into earlier, man, we are trying to be uh you know partakers in the in, in uh, that, you know. Be joint heirs with Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, all right? First fruits, man. You know? Exactly. And like we're saying, to, to give all things that were given unto me, roughly paraphrasing that scripture that was just read, you know, going back into uh, real quick, First Peter chapter 3 and verse 22. And this is referring to, um, actually, you know what? I'll just go back into 21 real quick. It says, The like figure whereunto even baptism doth also now save us, okay? So not putting away the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience towards the Most High by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who has gone into heaven, is and is on the right hand of the Most High, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. That's right, man. So we want to be joint heirs. We want to be made righteous rulers under that, man. We want to be inheritors of that, of, of you know, the, the, the privilege, man, the blessing, the heavenly Father's will. Right? Verse 48. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of strife shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto for unto whosoever much is given of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. Right. So right. the more, more responsibility you have, the more the Lord is giving you that portion, man, and I'm of the spirit. Especially yeah. if the most high has increased you to be able to understand the real depths of things, man. Yeah. 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 And, you, you and you're gonna, using it in the wrong way. Yeah. And yet you, you, you're gonna get that judgment from yeah. the Heavenly Father. The Just, Lord's gonna beat you with many stripes, man. That's, That's right. right, man. That's right, man. You know, wouldn't be camp without a siren, man. That's judgment being laid down right there. So, you know, if you know much, you better speak, man. Yeah. Right, man. You better speak, man. You better not be hiding the talents, man. And you better not be sleeping, man, because you said it, man. It's going to come back as a thief in the night when nobody knows what hour. It's going to catch you off guard, the scripture says, man. Mm -hmm. Stay on point, man. We in this thing day in and day out, man. man. Fulfill those works, man. You your responsibility, man. It says meditate day and night, man, in these precepts, man. Oh, that's right, man. So we got a, a, a duty to fulfill, man. We got to continue to abound in the work of the Heavenly Father, man. All right? Because we got to flip that investment, you know? That spiritual spiritual bank account, man. All right? The Heavenly Father is investing into his men, into the true believers, man. So we got to flip that investment and increase for the Heavenly Father. Wow, Yahweh Shai and This ain't nothing, man. You know? Yep. Compared to what the, what we have coming, man, Aparatazah. Yeah. Man, this ain't the kingdom, man. Kingdom minded, brothers and sisters. Kingdom minded, man. You're in captivity, man. Uh, right, man. Do the best you can, man. That's it. That's Do it. it, man. In the fullness of the best you can, man. Yep, that's right, man. Endure to the end, man. Yep, that's right, man. And yeah. to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. All right, man. So, so we got to continue to abound in the work, man, and pray for that increase, man. God. You know, God. to be able to do the more. You know, to be the able more to answer every scripture. man. To be able to you know? answer every man. God. God. You know? God. We got to be able to back these scriptures up, man. Because yeah. you don't want to be saying the wrong things, man, leading people off, man. Right. That's yep. a false prophet. That's right, yep. That's right man. So, you better be studying and, and actually knowing, man, and ask the Most High for the Spirit to be able to work with you so you can understand yep. these prophecies. Back everything right? up with the Word. That's yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. yeah. You want to uh, right. pull out that uh, 12 and 49? 49? Yeah, we'll continue uh, yeah. that same uh, chapter. It says in verse 40, Luke chapter 12 and verse 49, I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already? Already kindled. So that 
this place is already gonna be on fire when you have a shot so you can change to really light this shit up, man. Yup, right. Place is already gonna be all hell breaking loose and we already see it, man. Right before our eyes, the prophecies are taking place That's right. and, and unfolding. Mm -hmm. That's right, popping off the page, man. Yeah, he's coming to send fire upon this place. So huh. he, he's gonna make sure that the missions are, are gonna be People not understanding, man. Right, man. People are not understanding. Right, the wrath of the Lord's indignation, man, right? Mm -hmm. They just watching us, you know, driving fast, walking right. fast, man. Right. We know the depths of this thing, man. Yeah. We know the future, so to say. Yep, yep. Not the exact time when your house is going to come, yeah, that's what but we know what is to come to pass. God. And that's that's uh, the whole word of prophecy, man. Uh, that's the spirit tell, of your house shot. Tell before, man. Yep, tell before, man. Yep, just like the the term seers, you know? God. The term seers, man, going into that's that, that yeah, being prophecy. able to see those things, man. Watch me, man. man. You know? So filtering it through the Holy Scriptures, through the Holy Spirit, yeah, 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 as it's been taught also yeah, yeah. by the elders on down at GMS. He started with the elder apostles on down and the like minded Akim that are under the umbrella, all right? That's right. So that just continues to build this thing, man. Yeah, you want to bring that out? You can bring it out. We had uh, Jeremiah 23 and 1. Yeah, why don't you, you start the page? Yeah, 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 bring that out. Bring that out, man. Bring that out. Nice and loud, brother. Nice and loud. Thank you guys for what you guys want to say. Yeah, man. It says in Jeremiah 23. Nice and loud, bro. Bring it out. Bring it out. Nice and loud. Till that boy. Uh, <laughs> Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, I. Right? Jeremiah 23, verse 1. Woe to the shepherds who are destroying and scattering the sheep of my pastor, declares Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Therefore, this is what Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, the God of Israel, says to the shepherds who tend my people, because you have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not bestowed care on them, I will bestow punishment upon you for the evil you have done, declares Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's right, so destruction, woe unto these damn false teachers, man. Yep. These damn false prophets, wow. whether they be in these Israel of the Israelite camps, yep. or whether they be in these, these damn God Christian forsaken churches, man. Parliament houses, man. Yep. Christianity yeah. has yeah. fucked up our people, yeah. man. Yep. Capitalism, yeah. uh, Muslims, God. all these damn false religious Buddhism, these yeah, people, man. And, and Esau, these damn Edomites came and put our people into slavery and killed off a bunch of our people in the name of Christianity, man. Yep. They used that and twisted this around, man, to worship the damn so-called image of Jesus, man. That damn effeminate white boy. But like a man, Caesar Bolgeria. Damn homosexual. These people worship him, man. Right. Uh, but like I was telling, uh... Yeah, yeah, but not. But not, um, that they're so hopeful. There's still promise, like the beauty within the scriptures actually at the end. Yeah. Declares Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, I myself will gather the remnant of my flock. Ooh, the remnant meaning the elect. Yeah, the elect. That's right, man. My, out of, my sheep hear my voice. Out of all the countries where I have driven them and will give them back to their pasture, will tend them and will not will no longer be afraid or terrified, Ooh. nor will be missing, declares Yahweh by Hashem. Call Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, man. He's giving Yahweh, us this man. truth, man. Each yeah. of us brothers, right, man. man. Yeah, how was shy, man? He's that coming, remnant, man. He's coming for that remnant, man. He gave this this truth to the remnant to be able to be saved. That's man. right, man. We ain't gonna be under that that uh that freaking false doctrine, man, or that damn plantation Christianity, That's all right. these lies. We're able to see this truth, man, for what it is. We getting this truth and, and I will like to to get that salvation, man. Yup. You know? Yeah, man. You know, because like Doc said, you know, this plantation Christianity, Catholicism, all these other false philosophies and false ways, man. Our people have been beaten and, and, sure, and, and generationally. He's all thinking killed many of our people in yep. the name of that fucking plantation Christianity, yep. that homosexual Jesus. Man. Yep, and then forced it upon our people, man. And and generationally, you know, that zeal without knowledge, you know, it, it's continued that perversion of the word, that adulteration of our heritage, yeah, right? That, that's why a lot of Jake, they, they just don't even want to deal with the Bible or anything at all, man, because they think that Esau has just uh, twisted it and, and messed it up so bad that it's a white man's book and this and that to where they don't even want to deal with it. They, they just off in complete wickedness, right? One, 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 one time, brothers, you know, I was telling the, I was telling one of the brothers, man, about the scriptures, man, you know, and he told me if the Most High is really like that, how I was bringing out how he only loves Israel, he don't love nobody else, 
all of that, I'll show on the brother, man. He said, if the Most High is really like that, you don't want to serve that God. Are you serious? Hey, that's, hey, friendship with the world is enmity with the Most High. You know, don't want to serve and fear the one that kills and heals, right, makes man. alive and destroys. Yeah. All the, the creator and the author and finisher of everyone's faith. Yeah. You don't want to fear that? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. you don't fear that, man. Oh, yeah, you're going to fear hey. soon, though. He said he's going to mock you when your fear coming. Yeah, that's why he's going to laugh. He's going to laugh. Yeah. Okay. He's and the minute the Lord is going to walk over you, and laugh too. Yes. We're gonna laugh for all these different things that's gonna happen, yes. man. Yes. That's the spirit that the most high is gonna put on brothers, man. That's right. And the most high is gonna choose their delusions and their fears, the delusions, man, to man. mess them up with. Yep. Yep, kind, man. Fearful things to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So that's why, uh, you know, real quick, that's uh, why it says, uh, you know, uh, fear is the beginning of our wisdom, man. Yep. Fearing the most high. Uh, oh, uh, we're, I was gonna, we're oh, gonna finish up that Luke. Yeah, finish up that Luke uh, 12. Oh, here it comes. Yeah. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, and verse 29. Yeah, yeah, we got 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was good. Uh, it says in book of Luke, chapter 12, and verse 50. And it says, but I have a baptism to be baptized with. Ooh, and how. That baptism is gonna be with fire, man. Uh -huh. yep. Yahweh is going to baptize these people with that fire, man, and cleanse them. Because they didn't want to receive this, this truth, man, with the holy waters, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, go ahead. And yeah. it says, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? Ooh, so he's straightened, man. He's right. getting in straights right now, man. Yep. He's yep. saying at the right hand of the Heavenly Father, yep. he wants to come down and put the smash on these damn yeah. men, man. Yep. He wants to come and destroy Esau. Yep. But yeah, he man. knows, man, that this is Yahweh's will, man, and when, you, when the Most High is ready, he's going to come. And when he comes, he's coming with the forces of his Father, man. That's right, these man. These angels. The angels are going to be with Yahweh Shai when he comes with them chariots to have vengeance on all these Look people, man. Yep. These, these, these missiles going to be going off rocking this place. And when that sky crack open and the power of Yah by Shem comes, man, yeah. it's gonna shake this place, man. Yeah, come right. with, uh, with so much power, man. Yeah, all that that's power, right. thousand, ten thousand of the saints, man. Yeah, yeah, uh, angels. And now you know they're gonna try to make war and they're gonna lose miserably, man. That's right, man. That's in the scriptures, right. right? Yeah, yeah. Because they're gonna these our militaries are all gonna be at war with one another, yeah. and then they're gonna go to war when they see these. Yeah. 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 It says they, it says they were, uh, they don't have fear, but but they durst fight. They were scared, but they they durst fight, man. Yeah. And that's the spirit that the Most High is gonna have yeah. on these people, man. Yeah. He's to see it and be scared, but still. They he gonna have that spirit for them to still fight, man. Yeah, that's yeah. a good movie, Ooh, man. That is, like, that's a good movie, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's and um, even these elites, uh, Edomites, they they know this, man. You have Reagan that they spoke on this way earlier. What when Reagan was in, in, God, in the eighties? In the eighties, yeah, yeah. he said that um, you know, wouldn't all the the the, the world's uh, leaders come together and there was uh, a war like from exactly. another world exactly. uh, against uh, the world? And these people know, man. Yeah. Yeah. These people know, man. These different things, man. But they guess what though? The Most High has these people in his hands, man. Mm -hmm. And everything that they doing, man, has been ordained by the Most High to right. do. And it's ultimately right. going to return upon these people's heads. That's right, man. man. Everything, right. man, all these abominations. That's why man. scriptures say that the deceived and the deceiver are his. That's right. All right? That's right so it's the Heavenly Father putting the Spirit on these people, man, to buy yeah. into all this, you know, this folly yeah. of this yeah. wicked kingdom. All right? Yeah, why don't you, uh, let's continue with uh, verse 51. Bible shut. Verse 51. Yeah. Luke chapter 12 and 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. That's right. This is the so-called Jesus ain't coming back for peace, man. Right. He said he's coming to, to, to destroy this place, man. Right. And to cause division amongst you people, man. That's right, man. And he's coming to save the remnant of Israel, That's man. Right. You're already seeing the division of this wicked kingdom right now, man. 
It says that a kingdom divided shall not stand. Right? That's right, man. Yep. Babylon has fallen. If you haven't got the memo, that's right. This place is going down if you ain't got the memo. Yep. Right before your eyes, things are falling, man. You think just because they they allowed you to take your muzzle off, you don't gotta wear it on the insides no more. You think shit getting better? That's right, man. That's a uh, uh, First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter says, uh, you know when. Uh, you want to get that out? Please? I don't want to butcher it. Um, you know, when they think of uh, uh, peace, they oh, come instead of destruction. Come, come. Yeah, hey, man. These so they, they think because they can take off their muzzles, because they, they can go in these damn restaurants without having to show their, their passport anymore. No, and man, the Kragma is coming, man. That's right, man. And, and that's, that's part of uh, uh, the quiet before the storm. Man. That's right, that, man. That real storm's gonna That's hit, right, man. man. It's gonna happen suddenly, and it's gonna take that's people again. by surprise. Uh, First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, it is toxic. But that's why we getting ourselves prepared and ready now, people, man. Uh, setting, yeah. We got this knowledge yes. and wisdom so to sustain us in that time. Uh, okay, that is First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three. It says, "For when they shall say peace and safety, then." Sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. That's right, man. None is going to escape, man. It can. And like a uh, woman and travail, man, these are these uh, like birth pains, man. Yep. You know, right. they'll have contractions, then it'll be, uh, you know, no contractions for a little bit, yeah. and then boom, even it elevates more and more intensity, right, man. man, at a higher rate. Until the baby comes. Yep. Uh, right, man. So this place is, is quiet right now, but it's about to be freaking uh, triple chaos, oh, man. man. There's wars, up wars, and all that type of stuff going on right now. Babylon can try to act like it's relaxed, man. These people can act like they don't see what's going on, man. And it's going to happen so suddenly, man. They ain't even going to be a, it, ain't, it ain't going to be no remedy. Once There's no escape time, from that, man. No remedy, no. man. All this gift is going to be in the mercy of your whole bunch in your That's side, right, man. man. Uh, Upon his elect, man. Gosh. That's it, man. Everything else is being destroyed, man. That's right, man. And they're, they're running to Egypt, man, for their help. These people out here running to... Woe to them. Yeah. Who's going down to Egypt for help. God, that's uh, it, bro. God, you know, and uh, over here, even, even as an example, too, to kind of land back off that thought, you know, everyone in Babylon, even here on the West Coast, you know, People seeing that, you know, gas prices, you see different variations, you know, variations of gas Almost prices. Seven dollars this morning, right. man. Right. Certain, certain areas are worse than others. And even when it comes to the food, uh, the products, you know, the resources at the grocery stores and whatnot, it might be here, you know, a little better here than in other places in Babylon. Hold on, so I mean they here, you know? You know why I'm believing that they they trying to have this gas like this for? For the scripture where it says that we'll desire to go into another city and can't. Okay. They trying to have everybody out of their cars, man, so it'll be hard to be able to travel. Hey, when it comes to that, man, it's, it's right. that, that that juice, man. Yeah, you know? And that's a yeah. false balance, too, man. It it's going to be $20 a gallon, $30 a gallon. Yeah. You, already, you already ready for that? Hey, wait yep. till that. A false balance is an abomination and to just, the most high. Because they, they're saying that these gas prices don't even reflect on, on the actual oil prices, man. Okay. Oh, that over there... Um, in other countries, huh. man, it, it ain't like this. I see it on the news today. These people are stealing gas now. Oh, yeah, they're drilling holes. <laughs> these people are stealing. We in the times, yeah. brothers and sisters, man. Yeah, yeah, we in the times, man. Yep, and, and then ultimately when they set up those, uh, you know, medical martial law, man, you know, these so army quick. army checkpoints and things like right. that when it comes That's to that past, that, that, that juice. Towns, right? For those who haven't we been there. The uh, military checkpoints, man. Yep. Woo! Kind when of. you can't go into another place, yeah, yeah. Exactly. and yeah. you stuck, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. That's what the Most High has planned, man. Yeah, he man. wants you right where he wants you. Yeah, yeah, right where he got you, right where he wants you, yeah, man. These people are really gonna suffer, man, because you got a lot of these people still out there in the house of birth, man. I got a damn uh, eat of my coworker. This, this chick thinks she's gonna go uh, to vacation in, in Europe, go on a Euro trip. These uh, people planning things. things. You planning things. You don't know what the most I ask for you, man. It's for yeah, you, man. That's it, bro. Yeah, you man. think that's that free will, yeah, man? Yeah. I did it the other day, man. The video on free will, man. These people think that they got free will, man. You know? 
out there, man. Everything is ordained by the Heavenly Father, man. They got that do as thou oh, wilt spirit, man. man. You know, they they don't want to see this place go. You know, yeah. they, they they're still living in the comforts, man, of this life, man. And, and this, this is the end, I'm man. Trying to hold on. You know, I'm trying, I'm to, trying hang to hold on. on and hang on I'm like a sloth, man. You know? But the Most High is gonna knock these people off their high horse. Yeah, you know? with a great tempest, man. Yep, that's right, man. Great storm. That's right, man. Yeah. This place is through, bro. This got place is through. And if you can't see it by now, we moving on. Kind. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, man. This place is beyond through, man. Yep, kind. And just wait till they have that damn uh, draft, man. Oh, kind. You probably going to be really weak. We ain't talking about no NBA, NFL draft. Kind. Kind. Talking we about talking that. about that great day where a lot of motherfuckers are going to lose their life to lock it for the customer. But a lot of people, man, are gonna get drafted into this war, man. Yep. Do you know? Right. And nobody's gonna be left to bury the bodies, as the scripture says, man. It's gonna be so much yep. chaos, man. Everything's like, gonna be out of order, man. And uh, just like in uh, Ukraine right now, you know, supposedly, reportedly, you got those mass graves, you know what I mean? You got people resorting to that right now. Just imagine when the Heavenly Father wraps it up tenfold, twentyfold, man, a hundredfold. Putin. You know what I'm saying? This dude Putin, they killing, they, they shooting at the hospitals with the kids. Oh, this man is, you showing, the, the most high is showing, man. This hey, right man. here, the hey. people are, are not caring about people, man. Hey, this, man. But here it is, they're supposed to be at a war with a, with the army, but they make a war against the citizens. Oh yeah, kind of, you got that, uh, you know, that tank, that, uh, they got one video of that tank that ran, ran over. You see the old man over, in the car? Over. They went out their way. The tank went out, they went out their way to yeah. run over the old man, man. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. how about Shimmer Al Shah had the old man to live? They playing GTA. But that was there, hilarious. Man. That just shows you they're not regarding yeah. old, young, men, women, crippled, yeah. dog, cat. Yep. These people are making war against everybody, man. Yep. God, even Especially up. against the men of the Lord, man. God, there was another video too, the same area, same, same, you know, skirmish little war going on over there. They got a, a tank that opened up on the, uh, on a, a elderly couple. They were just driving, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they just started getting lit up, man. And they're done, bro. Back in the spirit realm, man. Heavenly Father, man, just spam, put the spirit. <laughs> Is that mean? Bear, so, yeah, that's they, judgment, but they, yeah, they're not going to have mercy, man. They, they that bear, bear, man. God. We're not going to regard your silver and gold. They ain't going to regard nothing like that, man. We're going to tear you up, just, man. You know, because that's Esau of Edom, all right? Those are the that's Edomites, right, man, man. all right? Saying, Gog and, and Magog, you know? So and they are cool people. Yeah. God. And this place God. is not standing. This world is not standing because yep. the white man, the ruler that owns every day, is fighting against itself, man. That's right, man. And you got this American culture that's so pussified, man. Yep. They ain't ready for this battle, man. Yeah, yeah. come on, man. They're, they, they're trying to freaking make TikTok videos and fucking, you know, make themselves in Instagram models and stars and shit, you know? They, they Only about, fans they, and all they, of that. Yeah, they ain't about this business, man. Only fans gonna turn into only drafted, girl. Pack your bags and get to the damn army base. We'll yeah, see you, you we'll women see that wanted it. <laughs> Y'all didn't want to stay at home and cook and clean and take care of the children, right? You God wanted to be a neck and neck with the man, right? You want to be equal and, and, and have the women rights, man. And lay your ass going to war and going to go get your head blown off like the next man. That's right, man. You want equal rights, huh? All right, yeah, you're going to get drafted like a man. You're going to go serve in the military. You're going to go die overseas for... Hey, you too, buddy. He's <laughs> home. Oh, he's the monster, too. He's the monster, too. He's laughing and smiling, man. Yeah. These prophecies are going to take place. The You're going to get drafted, right? <laughs> and then your wife is going to be for somebody else, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the script does say after the Lord, man. Yeah. Yeah. You better wake up, hey, man. Hey, you better enjoy your world while it lasts, Esau. Hey, all you know, uh, hey, pour that up for all your dead family members and the ones that's going to yeah. die soon. You're going to be dead. You pour that up for your dead homies, right? You didn't pour that up for us. You pour that up for your dead White people. <laughs> and the ones that's gonna die soon. Too much. All right, man. What the hell is he, man? Pour this out for you guys. No, you pour that out for yourself. Right, well, right. You're gonna need that little bit of a liquid, man. And that day when you're starving and you ain't and you're thirsty. Right. That's all right, man. Yeah, it's just coming, man. You saw it's done. It's, coming, man. it's done, man. Hey, wait. All right, bro. So. Yeah, should we finish up? Uh, That's right. is, that, is that good in that loop 12?
Or you want to finish up at 53? Yeah, you, you saw him going to work in pyology, man. He, he's he's right next to that oven, but he's oh, he listening to our music. The Lord's gonna put him in that oven, man. He works at pyology, man. That right. dynamite. Right. The Lord, oh yeah, Lord has him right next to that oven. He's gonna throw his ass in the fucking oven, oh, man. Jacob that flame and Esau the stubble, man. That's spiritual, man. Call all y'all about right. to be outside, man. Oh, God. Yeah. Let's get back to the scripture. The father shall be divided against the son. Okay. Luke chapter 12 and verse 52. For from his henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. That's right, man. So those believers of this truth, man, the followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, those who are opposed to these wicked mandates, these unrighteous decrees. All right, those who are opposed to the juice. The yep. Lord is working with the remnant, man. A small number, man. That's right, That's right, man. man. The majority of our family members hate to say it, man. But we're going to see you on the other side, That's man. Right. That's right, man. That's, that. That's right. We're, yep. not, we're not going to be sad, man. Yep. That's right. That's right, man. We're not going to be sad, man, when we see these people dying in huge numbers, man. Yep. We're going to be thankful for, by your how about Shem Al Shah for getting us through, man. Yep. And holding on to us, man. They'll be running into that strong tower, man. Yep. And nothing's gonna touch us, man. But to the others, man, whoa. 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 Yep. Destruction, Destruction, man. Baby. Whoa. whoa. Unto them. Luke chapter 12 and 53. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, and the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going to be, man, these latter days. You know, the, the man's enemy should be them of his own household. That's right, right, man. Scripture. That's how we shine, pouring out that spirit right now, man. He right. poured out that. The most high gonna pour out wrath upon you. Yeah, that's right. You know? That's right, buddy. Yeah, man. So those who are followers of this faith, followers of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, the truth of the Holy Bible, the truth of the scriptures, man, all right? They're gonna be persecuted. Alright? They're gonna be afflicted and oppressed. And ultimately, yeah, man, it's gonna be that division, that separation within their own households, man. Alright? Ultimately these times to come. You see that? You saw of Edom setting up those uh, you know, websites and whatnot. Things where you can uh, you know, basically rat out your own family members and things like that for their beliefs, man, all right? That's you saw of Edom right there. Yes. Trying to create that bridge for these uh, you know, to oppress our people, man, and further That's afflict crazy. the believers of Yahweh Shah. Alright? Yeah. Verse fifty-four. And he said also to the people, when ye see a cloud rise out of the west, straight ye straight, straight away ye say, there come up a shower, and so it is. And when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, there will be heat, and it come to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the, of the sky and of the earth, but how is it? That ye do not discern his time. That's right, man. Right. So they this can, time. They can uh, tell when it comes to the weather or, or things like that, but they can't tell. They can't see these they, prophecies. They can't, say, they can't see we're in the end times, man. They can't see these prophecies being fulfilled. They can't see it, man. They can't yeah. see the works of the Lord being done, man. But the Lord right, said man. he will blind them. Yeah, That's yeah. right, man. You got all these false prophets, these Christian pastors blowing smoke up everyone's ass. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans ought to know that these are the end times. Got to repent to the God of Israel. All right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. We brothers, they're speaking that damn Sisters. prosperity doctrine, man. All right? This ain't the land of our prosperity. All right? That's right. We're going to prosper in our land, yeah. which was given unto us and our fathers. Yeah, this ain't our rest, man. That's, That's it. right. It's not the land of our rest, man. Yeah. We ain't meant to prosper in Babylon, a.k.a. America, spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritual Egypt. It's right. the land of our captivity. We here, and we meant to repent and come back to our true Lord and Savior. That's right. And Father, really, Yahweh, by Shem Shai, is our Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. We coming back to these law, statutes, and commandments, man. That's right, man. To the very best of our ability, abide by the law, statutes, and commandments, and continue to take heed to this word. Seek the Heavenly Father while he may be found. All right? Because 
pretty soon this place is going to be burnt up by thermonuclear destruction. That's right. Pursuant to the scriptures in the Holy Bible. All right. Babylon America will be destroyed by the wrath of the Lord's indignation and you know righteous why? anger. You know why? Because this place is built on the blood of the Israelites, man. Right. The so-called Latino, so-called black man and Native Indigenous Native American, man. This place is built on the blood of our people, man. That's right. And so, in these times, our, our Lord, man, Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man, has put the spirit on a certain men, man, and women to awaken these last days, come back to our true Lord, our Savior, man, our, our, our God, man, ultimately, man. Do his work and be saved, man. That's right. Yeah. You don't want to be here when these missiles hit and when the skies crack open, man. Right, man. The day of the Lord's wrath, all right? It's not a day of light. It's a day of darkness. You hear that, siren? You hear judgment? All right? That's the Heavenly Father's will. Judgment is being laid down in the earth. Hey, hey, and soon, you ain't going to hear no paramedics and ambulances, man. Right. It is going to be all hell and destruction. Nobody's going to be picking these bodies up off the street. That's right, man. That's right. Right, the, uh, the county, the LA uh, sheriff, he said that expect these uh, wait times, man, to yep. be uh, doubling and tripling, man. These people quitting their jobs. Yeah, that's right, man. You got the police units, man, police forces that are, are short hundreds and hundreds of uh, personnel, all right? They're short freaking uh, operators, man, so on and so forth, uh, man. man. All these people that live in the high desert, man, Jake that moves out there to uh, buy cheaper land and stuff, man, yep. they really gonna have it hard because they're the ones that have to commute, spend that extra money on gas because a lot of them still work down here. Yeah, and yep. then there ain't gonna be no EMS response over there. Yep, that's right, man, that's right. Yeah. So as the scripture's saying, they will be uh, slaying each other, all right? Drawing the sword on each other for lack of uh, bread and for great tribulation, all right? That's right, man. So the, the, these works are being fulfilled, man. Uh, Bob Kusha told the brother to bring out a, a precept right here. God, God. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Well, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 9. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. That's right. What man. have we been, what have the the, the, the uh, apostles, right, and the prophets been doing from day one, man, is, is speaking in, on the downfall of this place, man. Yep. Prophesying the downfall uprooted, of man. this place, man. We uprooting all these things that think they planted, man, and, 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 and is grounded, man. God. We know the secrets, man. Mm -hmm. This king is being destroyed, man. We need a, a new kingdom, man, to rule this place. And yeah, how about Shem Al Shah has put his, his, his hands on our mouths for us to speak? That's back, right. Back. Them dry bones is waking up now, man. That's right. We standing on our feet, and these people are lo looking in great fear, man. Look at this, man. The men of the Lord, man. Used to be doing all types of other shit in this world. Coming back to y'all by Shem Al Shah, man, on power, man. Amen. If Esau is the end of the world, then Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. That's it. right, man. And Jacob being you Israelites, man. That's right, yeah. man. So the end of the world, the end of this time period, man. This wicked kingdom is being destroyed before our eyes, man. That's right, man. And the kingdom, uh, starting off with the tabernacle of David, man, is that's being right. built up right now, man. Yup, that's right, man. The elect of that's the house right, of Israel, man. man. That's and we right. got our eye on the prize, man. Yeah. We got we got something to do, man. We Kingdom got minded. Do. Yeah. And we out here doing it, whether people hear or forbear. Even if we got to prophesy to the wind, these words are going to go out, man. Yeah, whether right. you hear it or whether you don't want to hear it, man. The most high is true and every man a liar. Right, man. And when he says something's going to happen, best believe it's going to happen, man. Let's believe it, man. And he says Babylon oh, wow. is going to fall. This place is done. It's over with, man. That's right. That's right. This so, place is done, man. That's right. So repent to the Heavenly Father, the power of Israel. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you are the children of Israel. His right. chosen people, man. That's right. Uh, 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 people, we, we were 
least among the rest of these people, man. He chose us, man. We are a peculiar people unto him, man. Right. We are his children, man. To be placed above all nations that are above the earth. Above every other nation, man. Right. right man. Get out that cool mentality. Get out that slave mentality, man. Right, man. Get out of that Stockholm syndrome, all right? Loving your oppressor, man. This, this, this man has us all captive, man. Let him know. Yep. And you people are walking around like you're free. Let him know. We ain't free, not yet, man. Uh -huh. Not yet, man. Not to you, Al Bashim, Al Shaklam, and sets us free, man. That's but right, we man. free in the head right Let now, man. Let him know. Yep. These we free in the head, head, man. These people got a damn social security number, man. They, yeah. They're numbered. They're owned, they're owned by Esau. Man. Everybody's numbered, right? Right, man. Or once that charisma come, right. that that's your ass if you take it. Right, man. Do not take the mark of the beast. Right, that MOB. That, 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 that oh, that that free, that free no oh. next year, man. Look, man, yeah, man, don't take the crog, man. We gonna leave it at that. Man. Yeah, man. That's right, man. Yeah, yeah. Revelation 13, all right? I'm I'm trying, yeah. I got uh, this uh, wisdom of Solomon, five and one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness That's right. before the face of such as have him afflicted Ooh. and make no account of his labor. Esau Edom, right? That's right. The so called Edom. white man. Yeah. Keep walking past, driving past in his good car. Even the destroyer of Esau want to walk past and look down on us. Uh, hopefully, right. make the walking with great boldness. We out here standing on our feet, man. That's right. We the, we the dry bones that got the water on us and flesh was put back on us by the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. And we live. Yeah. And we live. Thank you. That's right, baby. That's right. Yeah. These people ain't going to get it, man. Get These out. people are the walking dead right That's now. That's right. Congregation of the dead, man. That's right. Hey. That's the way they want it. Yep. It's uh, wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terror fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Ooh. The strangeness of the, the salvation of the elect, man. Right, man. So far beyond all that they look for. These people expect us to have an end of no return. They don't think we was going to return to our father, man. Yep. They didn't think we was going to return to our nationality, man. Yep. That's right, man. So you saw me, the so-called white man. They're gonna be troubled with terrible fear. And they're scared man. right now, That's man. It, man. Right. They might laugh, walking past, but in the back of their head, man, they know you can feel it, man. Yeah. They can feel it, man. See, that what we saying is true. They can feel it, brother. They wanna speak it out or keep it in their head. They know, man. Right, man. They know and they wanna make no account for their labor. Exactly, man. Bloodshed. All right, wicked deeds, man. All right. They can't face that correction, that rebuke, me, man. They can't. They can't face themselves in the mirror, man. Our slavery we have to go through, and even us laboring right now on these streets, man. Make that. They, they say we just some niggas out here, man. Yeah. yeah. They don't know, man. They making no account that we out here doing the willing. How about Shimmy Alshai, right. man? Right, that's the spirit. This is our uh, wisdom of Solomon five and five. These damn heathen and these two thirds are gonna say, "How is he numbered among the children of the Most High?" And it's not among the saints, man. These people, they, what they see is Skid Row, man. When they look at us, man. Yep. The, 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 the nastiness of our people, man. That's right. The things that you have by Shema Al has put on us as a people, man, because we have went off. Yep. Right, man. Just consider Proverbs and Bowers, man. Spectacle. Yeah. I right? made a fool yeah. for Hamashiach's sake. All right? But they don't think twice about coming back to the Heavenly Father, all right? They heed not, man. Do not take heed to the man of the Lord. These Speaking people don't the even know. These people don't know. The man that, that's on Skid Row, that's an Israelite. Even if he died now, but in the kingdom, that man is gonna be as like David, man, in that day, man. Woo! God. A mighty man. Yep. The least of our people in the kingdom is gonna be better than the rest of you. Damn he is gonna be ruled over by that man that they look down on and spit on, man. Yeah. That yeah. black man, right? Yeah. With yeah. the angry face, man. Our king, our Lord, Hamashiach, yeah, was shy, man. Yeah. Right. He's coming back, man. And he's going to save the remnant. And he's going to put the rest of you people into chains and slavery. And he's going to use the election, man, yeah. to yeah. do it, man. Yeah, man. We fishing right now, man. We trying to steal the elect, man. Right. But, but soon, but soon, 
I don't want Ross is on, man. If we have that number, man, that be able to come and hunt you, motherfuckers, from every cleft of a rock, yeah. under every rock, under in every oh. hole, man. Oh, we gonna come for you, man. Jeremiah 16. 16. You gonna be brought to subjection, man, under your house by Shimon yeah. Shai, man. And yeah, fishers are gonna be turned hunters, man. You're gonna be hunting these damn Edomites and these heathens, man. That's right, That's man. Right, man. From they say got their doomsday bunkers. Think that they can just uh, stock up and, and hide, escaping judgment? Huh? Hell no, nah, man. Even That's gonna be the pleasure of the saints, man. Uh, two thirds, man. That bring bring them here and slay them before me. And they don't want to be ruled. They don't want your high by Shem outside to rule over them, man. Just two thirds, man. So they gonna have to die, man. By death, by pain, man. They gonna know it, man. They gonna know, man. Yup. And they think that they're gonna go into space, man. And think that they can. Survive in a moon base, an international space station. He's gonna have his his, his his throne above the stars, man. This yeah. man think that he traveling. Yep. No, man. He exalts yeah. himself as the eagle, trying to trying to trying to go into the stars, man. Trying to build a nest in the yeah, stars. That, that's the why, Heavenly Father. That's why they say that international space station is coming yeah, down in, in the next uh, ten years or some shit <laughs> like that. But we Most high will it's gonna come crashing down, uh, man. Yeah, man. The Most high yeah. say. He's, these, these people are gonna build and he's gonna destroy it, man. That's right, right. Man. From thence will I bring thee down, says the Heavenly Father. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture, man. Shit, man. They, they even try to set these Star League satellites out there. Uh, and, and the Lord been bringing them down already, yeah, man. man. <laughs> I know you see baby boy. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Yeah. And he kicked over the, 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 the kid. Fuck your fort, man. <laughs> That's how your Abba Shemel is coming, man. That's to right. to Esau and the rest of you eat him. Man, fuck oh, your fort, man. Yeah. You ain't my child. I'm gonna treat you like you, you nigga. Fuck your fort, bro. Right, right. You ain't my son, no way. That child was not Snoop Dogg's son, man. He put right. him like that, man. Yeah. But I never do that to my kid, man. Oh, my man. kid. Right, man. But to you heathen, <laughs> you heathen. Yep. Yeah. How about Shimmy on shots kicking over you your fort, man? You ain't the Lord's people. You came you ain't the Lord's against people, the Lord's chosen, man. Yep. Get his children. Yep. <laughs> These people gonna get it, man. Alright, man. You know, but that's why we're out here, man. You know, we gotta blow this trumpet, man. Sound the alarm. Warn our people. Alright? Let them know, man. That it's time, man, to awake out of sleep, man. And that, that the destruction draw at night. The visitation of the Lord is upon us, man. Because they ain't gonna hear it in these hearted houses, in these so called Christian churches, man. Catholic churches, man. Alright? They ain't gonna hear the truth of Yahweh Shinel Shai. The most I said, it's not one of that any should perish, man. That, that we should, that we supposed to come back and repent, man. Yeah. But only the election is gonna repent and come back to our Lord, man. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So real quick, I'm gonna bring this out. This is Proverbs chapter 27, verse 23. It says, "Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks and look well to thy herds." That's right. So we're trying to look well after the herd, after the flock of Yahweh Shimei Shimei. The lost sheep. Exactly. Right, right, God, we're out here trying to preach the word. Preach the truth, man, the gospel, and preach repentance, man. Come back and repent to the Heavenly Father. Uh -huh. All right? Because destruction draws nigh. The Lord's visitation is upon us. And truth right? and sincerity, man, we out here, man. You know? Long suffering, man, with our people as you how about Shimon Shai is with us, man. You know? As the scriptures say, you know, roughly present, if you love me, feed my sheep. That's right, man. You know? And he told, how was he told uh, Simon? Was it? Was it? Told Peter. Simon Peter, Peter. Peter. Yeah, it says, he told him three times, if you, if you love me, Okay, if you love me, be my sheep. So three, you have to make sure, man. Three, three times and three going into the number of, for confirmation. Yeah. All right, so yeah. confirming that, yeah. the importance of it, man. Be my sheep. All right, so, Lord, man. You know? So that's, that's that brotherly love, man, when we, when we out here, man, we're doing this, man. That's the, that's the brotherly love you have to set that we're supposed to be doing, man. Feeding the sheep, man. Yeah. Returning right, your house people to him, man. Yeah. The ones that will get it. Building up that tabernacle Building the tabernacle of David up, That's man. Right. The hope for election, man. We're going to achieve, man. Yeah. Because Yahweh Shai is praying, man, for us, man. Yeah. Because we confess Yahweh by Shemal Shai to this world, man. Right. Yahweh Shai is going to keep us and he's going to uh, he's gonna uh, plead to Yahweh for us, man. So right, he's man. praying for the elect, man. Yeah, our intercessor, man. You know, try, we're trying to get that stamp of approval by Big Brother. That's right. All right? Because no man gets to the Father without going through the only begotten Son. Exactly, God. You know? That's kiss, kiss the Son, lest he be angry, man. Yeah, that's uh, right. Hey, because Yahweh Shah, man, he's going to come and do some things, man. 
Yeah. Some terrible yeah. things, man. Yeah. Tell the people that's not his, man. Yeah. God, so I want to kind of continue. Dave, the Lord, from the, uh, Dave, uh, darkness and gloom for this And people, not light, man. man. That's right. right. And not light. Mm -hmm. Done. So real quick, now I want to go back into the same book, Proverbs, chapter 28. Start at verse 10. It says, They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. That's right, man. So we got to keep the law to the absolute best of our ability. The law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. The man, law is man. not done away with. All right? Yeah, Muhammad Shiach Yahushai said, I've come to fulfill it. All right? I've come not to do away with the law, but to fulfill it. All right? So verse 5 it says, Evil men understand not judgment. But they that seek the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, understand all things. Remember, so we gotta understand this by seeking the Heavenly Father, man. Alright? Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, starting with the fear of the Most High. Alright? So evil men, they wanna to continue to abound in their folly and wickedness, man. Transgression, sin upon sin. This wicked kingdom, alright? So We're supposed to be separating ourselves, man. Right. Coming out of this world now, man. That's right. Without and the mist and Babylon. Got it. Yeah. You know, so, verse, uh, verse 6, uh, Proverbs 28, 6. Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Hey, we poor right now, man. You know, we don't have much. We have just enough, man, to survive. Give them by your house, by Shem I don't want nothing more, man, but the kingdom, man. Yeah, that's right. I don't want nothing this world can give me, man. Hey, but we're rich in this truth, man. Yeah, we're spirit. rich in the truth, man. We got yeah. the we got the true riches. God. True riches, man. Yep. This word of your house, by Shem Yashai, man, which stands forever, man. Yep. What did Solomon ask for, man? He didn't ask for riches, man. Yep. He didn't ask for riches, man. He asked for the wisdom mm -hmm. to be able to rule the people, man. That's right. Everything else is added on to him, man. Yep, that's right. Because he didn't ask for nothing vainly, man. Yep. He asked a good thing. A Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua was rewarded, man. That's right. With wisdom and everything else, man. Our King Yahushua, man. Yep. He owns everything, man. Given by Yahweh, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. The Proverbs 28, 7. Says, Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, but he that is a companion of riotous men shameth his father. Man, so we gotta keep that man wisdom. Alright, again, fighting by the law, statutes, and commandments to the absolute best of our ability, man. Alright, count it as wise. Okay? Verse 8 says, He that be uh Slakia, he that by usury and a just gain increaseth his substance. He shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. The most high ain't hearing these people, man. These sinners, man, of our people, man, that's not really trying to come back, man. That's not taking the Lord serious, man. Um, yep. In finish up here in verse 10, it says, Whoso causeth, causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way. So again, causeth the righteous to go astray. The so-called pastors, bishops, and all these other false prophets, these false doctrines, 501c3 doctrines, within the Christian church, Catholic church, baptism, so on and so forth, man. Scattering the sheep. Scattering the sheep. sheep are led to the slaughter, man. All right. That's these damn... Yeah, exactly. So I'll just finish up this verse real quick. It says, He shall... Fall himself into his own pit, but the upright shall have good things in possession. That's right. So the upright, okay, those who are seeking the truth of the Holy Scriptures of Yahweh Bashim El the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, who repent to the Heavenly Father, okay, and they will have good things in those possessions. All right. And they dig in their own hole. These other people, man. Yep. They dig in their own grave, and they're gonna fall right in it, man. Yep. That's right, man. So those who are causing uh, again our people to go astray, man. All right. Yeah, man, they're gonna they're gonna be put down in that pit, man. All right. Mark did not cause division, man. Yeah, okay. Cast these false prophets, man, and these and these false prophets, man. Yeah. They got the bubble. I think I have like I don't know. I kind of asked my own question in my head, uh -huh. but like, all right, then there's two scenarios: someone who's like awoken in the truth, and then they're walking, right? And then uh, it says that uh, you know we're not perfect, right? We're gonna sin and stuff like that. So one day, this awoken person, 
an Israelite. Um, I don't want to say I, I don't want to say because I'm not sure if I'm using the using it correctly, but like an Israelite, you should say, um, as having a bad day. And then uh, you know, on the street, a guy comes, random dude smoking smoking weed, he looks clean or whatever, uh, offers an Israelite some weed. The Israelite knowing that he shouldn't smoke or he shouldn't drink or he shouldn't partake in gambling or having sex with women because that might relieve the pain for the moment. Uh, knows that's not true, but is weak and sins. Right. But the person that offered him does not know of God. Is the Israelite wrong for not? Is the Israelite wrong for one not telling him the truth, or is the Israelite wrong for abstaining the truth and just sinning and saying, you know what? I know that he's, he's wrong for both. I know he is, but I'm saying, what should he have done in that place? Should he have told that person this is not true? It's not what. Obviously, that's what he's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? But like, if he didn't, is that wrong? And he. And he himself sinned, and it's, he was okay. So, so you're saying, uh, uh, just to make sure I get this correctly, uh -huh. uh, the person who was offering was also an Israelite? No, no, he's just... Okay, uh, okay, yeah. well then, uh, the truth isn't for everyone, ultimately. So, yeah. I mean, this Bible, this these scriptures, they're for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, those who come from the seed line of Jacob, our forefathers. Well, they're of the tribes, yeah, we, we could tell them. Uh, I'm, not, saying, I'm saying partake. Right, no, I'm, no, saying, I'm saying partake. shouldn't be doing that. Let me just, but, make, but, more, let me just make more simple. But, but going back into it, um, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, he should say, oh, no, you know what, I'm good, man, like, I'm yeah. sure. Hey, that's that, that's going off, man. I, uh, I'm not uh, supposed to be doing that. If you teach somebody to break the least of the commandments, you are going to be called the least in the kingdom. Yeah, so even enticing our people to go off like that, like telling them, you know, kind of pushing. You're not going to ever look, tell nobody right, to sin, that's, that's bro. So, so you, you do that, you're going to be called the least in the kingdom. You so, tell them right to sin. As I'm as I'm continuing my journey on like stopping like you know marijuana and stuff like that, I've I've uh, decreased it to the point where I only smoke with, with my little brother. And stuff like that but then like as i'm reading i'm like i don't even want to do that with him anymore because i like, keep i try to bring him the truth like when we're just like sober chilling and stuff like that and i can see that he's not maybe there's a bug or something like that and i'm like maybe he's also because of me because he sees me like every once in a while i smoke people with him or something like that and then supposed to be a, so uh, yeah, so, so me my brother is not an israelite yet or an awoken israelite yet because he doesn't accept this as true everything i tell him he accepts the gumdrop, the gumdrop gospel i know because my mom is what she that's what she does you know so I'm saying, me partaking is leading him astray, even though he doesn't know the truth. He's already astray. More or less. Yeah. He's already astray, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it's it's going off, and obviously uh, now that you know you're coming into it, learning these things. Yeah, it is going off. Then, then you are partaking in those things. That is going off, and uh, and you, you know what I mean, uh, kind of partaking in those things with him is is not helping him come to the realization yeah. of the truth. So the reason I'm not gonna lie to you, bro, yeah. like, because like when we smoke weed, like my brother chills and we chill, and yeah. like the flow conversation is a little like, and I can like he listens yeah. to me more. You know what I'm saying yeah. I feel like he does. I understand. I feel like he does, but that can also be the left hand God of God, you know. Yeah, and, I got you. Wisdom will at first walk with you with crooked ways, yeah, right? So it's important yeah. that we'll talk, go ahead and talk. Yeah. But you, you know, ultimately we we trying to reach that perfection, man. Like how was perfect, man. He wants us to be perfect. Yep. But we understand exactly. we are in this flesh, but we're not supposed to willfully sin, man. Mm -hmm. yep. And if you do find yourself sinning, man, repent, man. Yep. Repent, man. And a, a, a righteous man follows seven times, man. We get your ass back up, man. Get back on the grind, man. And don't do it again, basically, man. Yeah, that's how Hebrews 10 and 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. Um, yeah, man, we got really refrain from willfully uh, uh, Let's say about certain uh, prices. Uh, to to uh, to obey is better than sacrifice, bro. Oh, yeah, kind of. To obey is better than sacrifice, ultimately, bro. Yeah, kind. Of. So it also says that the sacrifice of the of the wicked is an abomination to the Most High. Roughly paraphrase of the scripture. So it says, "Let your yea be yea and nay." We're not going to be perfect, yeah. but we got to come back to these lost as the best possible and offend less. Yeah. Yeah. Offend yeah. less. Yeah. 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 Exactly, man. So we got to try to attain that. Like Doc said, you know, uh, like Malak said, we got to try to attain that perfection, even though we will go off these in this fleshly body. You know, we're, we're not going to attain perfection. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach was, was, was the only one. Was it John? Was it John that was, that was speaking, saying, you know, I do that which I will not, I, I wouldn't, 
I, I, what I would, I, that I do not. That he's born um, against the flesh. That's how great, that was Apostle Paul. Oh, uh, Paul, man. Yeah. Salakia. And that's why he, our bodies, that's why we need to be changed. That's right? exactly why we need Yahweh by Shem yeah. Shah, man. Yeah. To rid us of this flesh, said, man. Oh, wretched man, I am. You're wretched, he's yeah. dissing himself, man. Yeah. Look, I'm a piece of shit, man. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a piece of shit, man. I ain't shit, man. Yeah. Without the word of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, man. Even, I'm not, I'm just, we ain't this shit, flesh, man. man. This yeah. flesh, man. This flesh, man. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. So exactly. That's man. why we need to be changed. It's right? a constant war we want every day, man. Okay. Every day we're trying to get better, yeah. man. Yeah, how is that? But you gotta know you ain't nothing, man. Yeah. I, I'm not shit, man. Without your how about Shimmy man? Yeah. And we're going to be changed, man. We're gonna I can't wait for that day, man. Yeah, I hate this flesh. I'm not. I be mean, fuck, fuck, man. I hate this flesh, man. I hate this flesh, man. Now, I can't wait, man, for your how about Shimmy to, to see your how man. To, to change us, man. That's to part make of, us a holy people that's again, part of man. Things, uh, uh, talking about that angels, uh, cast out in the chains of darkness. That's we, we the angels that's in the chains of darkness, man. Right, man. And when the chains of darkness going to be released, man, ultimately it's when your house shot changes us. But right now, our chains on our minds is getting released, man. Uh, we might be still having a war with this flesh, man, but we're we free in the mind, man. But right. we going to continue to do this work, man, because it was ordained by your house by Shema al Shai, man. He put it on the brothers, man, to do this, man, with this flesh, man, with this wickedness, with this wicked-ass flesh, man. All right, man, so we gotta definitely abstain from, from trying to go off like that, man. You know, man. come back to the Heavenly Father, acknowledge our sins, man, and we gotta pray for that repentance, man. Pray, you man. Know? Pray without ceasing, it says, man. Pray for that, ele uh, for that election, man. Okay. Ultimately, man. So, uh, what I want to actually, this kind of goes into that um, a little bit right here. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 5, and verse 3. It says, I know Ephraim, and Israel is not hid from me. So Ephraim being the northern kingdom, a right, representation. Uh, that was a lead tribe of the northern uh, of the northern kingdom. So it says, I know Ephraim and Israel is not hid from me. For now, O Ephraim, thou committest whoredom, and Israel is defiled. That's right, so a whoredom going off with other philosophies, other doctrines. Okay, going against the heavenly Father. All right, those seeking these other, uh, you know, this idolatry, man. Mm -hmm. That's going on. All right. So verse four. This is Hosea five and four says, they will not frame their doings unto their power, for the spirit of whoredoms is in the midst of them, and they have not known the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, and the pride of Israel doth testify to his face. Therefore shall Israel and Ephraim fall, and their iniquity, Judah, also shall fall with them. Right, so our people have gone off together, you know, coming back in these latter days, again, with the, uh, the rebirth, the reincarnation of Elijah, you know, which is Alphabivans, you know, that, that which, uh, we believe through the spirit, you know. Um, but the point being is that we are waking up in these latter days, but our people have gone off for hundreds and thousands of years, man. All right? They've come away from the Heavenly Father. So they have not known the Heavenly Father. Go back in Hosea 5 to 5, and the pride of uh, Slakia 5 and 6. Says, they shall go with their flocks and with their herds to seek the Lord, Yahweh Shai, but they shall not find him. He hath withdrawn himself from them. All right, so this truth, man, was not there. We weren't in this truth, man. This truth was not brought out for a, a period of time. It was brought out, you know, once the seven the, the seals were broken, man. Alright, through Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, while the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay? So this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding was not given to those past generations, man, all right? It was for an allotted time, man, okay? So uh, go back to Hosea 5 and 7, Salakia. It says, they have dealt treacherous, treacherously against the Lord, Yahweh Shai, for they have forgotten, have begotten strange children. Now shall a month, to, uh, a month now shall a month devour them with their portions. So they have begotten strange children. They have gone off against the Heavenly Father once again. Just kind of added to that. More judgment. Here we go. More, more judgment. More judgment, man. God belong the great. It's not good. So it says that, uh, Flow ye the trumpet in Gebeah and the trumpet in Ramah. 
cry out loud at Beth Haven, or it's like it, after the old Benjamin, Ephraim shall be desolate in the day of rebuke. Among the tribes of Israel have I made known that which shall surely be. All right, so these prophecies, all right, through the prophets, man. All right, that judgment has been made, you know, it has been made known to Israel, okay, through the prophets, man. The Lord speaks through his men, all right? defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and with and with stocks man that's, that's the southern kingdom man oh, but yeah that's the southern kingdom right and in verse 10 it says and yet for all this her treacherous sister judah have not turned unto me with her whole heart but Frainedly, 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 saith the Lord. Yeah, kind of, so that, that northern kingdom, okay, and then Judah being the head tribe of the southern kingdom, you know? So, yeah, man, so it's gone off, man. Yeah, kind of. So going back into Hosea chapter 5, go down to verse, verse 10, it says, the princes of Judah were like them that removed the bound. Therefore, I will pour out my wrath upon them like water. Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment because he willingly walked after the commandment. Therefore, I will be unto Ephraim as a mock and to the house of Judah as rottenness. So they have both faced their, their punishment, man. You know, this modern day captivity, transatlantic, transatlantic slave trade, so on and so forth, man, all right? Different captivities, man, being being scattered all over the world, man. Being being subject to the curses within Deuteronomy chapter 28, all right? So going back into Hosea 5 and 13, when Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah saw his wound, then went Ephraim to the Assyrian and sent to King Jareb, yet could he not heal you, nor cure you of your wound. For I will be unto Ephraim as a lion, and as a young lion to the house of Judah, I, even I, will tear and go away. I will take away, and none shall rescue him. That's right, man. So only the Heavenly Father, man, can bring us out of this modern-day captivity, out of these punishments, man, out of the curses. Uh, yeah, and we oppress together, man. Can I get this? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 33. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were all pressed together and all that took them captive held them fast they refused to let them go man yeah, we here man yeah. and, this, and this captivity modern day captivity hey, we was, you know mm -hmm. past generations or whatever and, and the real slavery man mm -hmm. we, the, the field slavery man was back then and now we in the field of work, man. This industrial slavery, man, and and, and, and the chains are not on the on on our hands and on our ankles no more, man. They pass our chains, man. They got us now, man. As a people, man, the chains is wrapped around your mind. You know, that's the chains that you know we got on us now as a people, man. Yep, God. Who's uh, Nebuchadnezzar? Who's the king of Babylon? Why does his name? Why does his name mean dream? It's like, uh, it's not, Nebuchadnezzar's the title. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, kind of, well, it's the title. Yeah, it's, it's like Pharaoh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's a kind of going in because, uh, Nebuchadnezzar had dreams that he had Daniel, the yep. prophet Daniel, interpret for him. Yep. Yeah, kind so of that's why it probably says that in there. Yeah, if you read the book of Daniel, yeah, it goes into that. Yeah, kind yeah. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dreams on Nebuchadnezzar, and he, he was scared. He, he had uh, Daniel, and he had all these uh, these people who were basically, frankly speaking, blowing smoke up his ass. Oh, so yeah, you yeah. know, telling him all certain things, you know, just as other. Yeah, kings of yeah, because uh, the most ages. high, he'll have these other uh, heathen nations have dreams and we'll, we'll put fears on them and, and have them uh, um, see, you know, future dreams of what's going to happen. Yep. 
Uh, there's been plenty of, uh, you know, people that had dreams of uh, these female camps. Yeah, you know, your, your, your young men should dream dreams. Uh, your old men have vision. And the old men, that's what's going on now, man. Yeah. You know, you're seeing, yeah, you're definitely seeing people that are, uh, well, you know, of the tribes, okay, different people that are even not of the tribes, but the point being, um, yeah, people are definitely seeing those visions. Man. Brother just people. said earlier he was having a dream, man, of the yeah. end, man. Yeah, just and I was gonna say, I'm but not gonna you lie, could, I be having dreams of the end too. I was gonna say, I like, that's not that that's like, like, like the dreams of God. I be like, seeing like, some crazy even, stuff. Like me as a human being, bro, seeing a UFO, like, like, bro, I was in the military yeah. and I've seen formations of like, and I would have never imagined like how it looked like. Yeah. Nevertheless, like, or even think that I'll dream of something like that, you know. So like, that's how you can tell that I was like a dream. From, from yeah. the a lot of friends had a dream. Yeah, I had a dream one time. I didn't even mention it, but yeah. So a lot of people mentioned it. I had a dream I was on a hill. I was like, San Francisco, you got to go. Yeah, yeah. I see you come to my father's shit. Big old father's shit. My name is Kevin, bro. You're covering the whole city, bro. Can I say something? Yeah, you're the man. That's what's going on. And I ran into the house. You know, the house was like empty, dark. There was no light in the kitchen. And I was just running through rooms, uh, you know. With a couple of people in there, I know. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That's what's gonna be like, man. That that fellowship is gonna create freaking utter darkness, man. I had you a know? dream while we on it. Just in this real quick, brother. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a dream, but what I can remember is I was with people. We was in the forest, like I'm looking up, you know, see the trees and stuff, and I, it was like dark. It, was, it wasn't all the way dark, but just a little bit dark, right? Yeah. Boom. I don't know what we were doing, but. All of a sudden, the sky cracked open, but instead of Yahweh Shai, it was like, uh, it was like the false Jesus. Uh, Almost like, you know, cause they said that they're gonna use Project Blue Beam yeah, yeah, or something yeah. like that to deceive us. I, I believe that was the dream, man. They gonna, they gonna have, they, I said something about the miracle, don't believe they false miracles yeah, yeah. or whatever and all of that, man. These yeah. people are gonna do something, man. I, I know it, man, cause that, it was just like, you know, the feminine Jesus thing. You know, like, like, yeah. uh, come, I like it. I was like, hold on, yeah. that's not your house shot. And yeah, boom, yeah. I woke up. Uh, that's well, that's not your house shot, bro. Uh, that's the child. I know you got. Go ahead, go ahead. I just want to say, like, yeah. it, and it's like, you know, when you guys say in the spirit, you guys mean like, oh, like, it's a thought. So I don't know, what you guys. That's what you guys mean by that. But I yeah. wanted to say that um, he brought up a verse uh -huh. that I've been thinking about this whole week, uh -huh. and actually that verse, the one you just said about young men will have dreams, young uh -huh. men will have visions. Uh -huh. I remember I read that verse while I was in the military uh -huh. that day. <laughs> It was it was a road, but earth was vacant. It was and it was just people walking, bro. People was just walking, and like there was there was like grooves on the road, like it was like but it was like earth. We were just walking somewhere. It wasn't a road because like I tell you, like it was it was empty. It was desolate, you know. But it was a road because we was all walking the same way, you know. And then I see I see the sky turn dark and open and this UFOs just come out and start attacking people, shooting people. And I'm trying to I'm trying to save people and it's like I'm feeling the bullets hit like but I'm like why is it not hitting me? Like so I'm so in my head I'm like I'm gonna go save people. I'm gonna go save people. I'm gonna go save people. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saving nobody though bro. You better then save I, yourself oh, day, yeah, and then I, then I wake up bro and I wake up and I, I was like Yeah man yeah that's oh, just great, man. Yeah, man just Pray that you find that number. Cherry is going to be zapping you. Exactly. That's what's going to happen, yeah. Cherry is going to zap you, man. Exactly. A nuke going to hit somebody outside the head. That All might, types of stuff, man. That okay. might mean that brother that had a dream of uh, that Malcolm was in. Uh, he okay. was in Chicago. Uh, yeah, and yeah. That, you had Northern and Southern Kingdom out there um, just blasting people out in the streets and shit. And that the bullets just were flying by him, but were, you know, hitting him. And that they were shooting at anybody yeah. that moved pretty much. And the scary thing was like, yeah. it didn't feel like a dream, bro. Like it felt like I was there. When I woke up, I was like, and then that's when I got into the whole like, damn, dreams. I can like lucid dream and stuff like that, you know, trying to like, because I used to have reoccurring dreams like that. Scripture you know? also says about a dream that will deceive you, though. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's like, yeah, not yeah so trust really, yeah, yeah. Trust you, you know, so. always. You know, but the spirit will let you know if you know. Yeah. You know, yeah. Kind of, so through the spirit, you know, that's what we, what we refer to, like through the spirit, like saying, oh, through the Holy Spirit, like that's how we feel. Like, yeah, because the Holy Spirit reveals the everything, yeah. man. Yeah, kind of, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Through your how shot, through your how about shot, man. Through your how way how shot, man. The spirit comes, man, and it deals with you, man. Then you get to understand these different prophecies. Dump the dark sand, man. Give them by the spirit, man. Yeah, man.
Well, I'll finish up here in that uh, Hosea 5 and 15. And it says, I will go and return to my place so they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Right, man. So we got to acknowledge our offenses, man. Right. We have to acknowledge it and seek the face. Seek Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Seek the truth of the scriptures, man. Seek the Holy Spirit. Right. Right. A lot of these people are going to be seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahushua until they're, they're going to be calling on the wrong names, too, but until yep. that, that, that uh, tribulation hits, man. Jesus. Then they're really going to be, you know. Calling on that effeminate white boy to say that, man. And he gonna come right up to like the drink. Right. Like a faggot, and just that That's exactly, I swear that, to that you. Bro, <laughs> oh, look, like, he was coming like all feminine and yeah, gay, yeah. like, you know, like the yeah, little. Yeah. I was like, what the hell? The come with a uh, damn garment to <laughs> foot. He's coming. A, a belt, a war belt, man. Yeah, he come with, with a, a serious war. face. Man. Yeah, coming with back. A, with, a war, yeah. with a war cry. Yeah. You know, he's coming back with dad garments from Basra, man. He's coming back with blood on yeah, his raiment, man. That, uh, that made me think of uh, Matthew 24 and 24. Yeah. For there shall arise false Hamashiach, false Christ, and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall receive the very. And that's exactly how the dream was. I was with some, I, I, don't, I don't remember who, but it was, I was with people. We was in the, it was like a wilderness, but the trees and all that, like probably like in, in the California forest, man, where the trees is like that, man. And then it just happened, bro. But, but like, dude, like, with, that, like, with that project movie. Yes, the project uh, movie. They've been having them. Uh, that's exactly what came to my head after the dream. I'm like, they might do some deception shit like hey, that. No, that's the truth. Because in the beginning, when it, I'm like, oh, this guy is fine. Yeah, I was trying to, and then boom, when it, it's just a gay dude, like hey, the know. gay Jesus, like, you know, oh, right? oh, that's not your house, shot. That's not your house, shot. Remember that video last year? Uh, really, uh, showed like there was a dude that was in a room where, like, there was like a, a green screen wall, and then there was like a damn. Holographic and the other part yeah, of the room. there's one in there. Yeah, I got one in there. Yeah, you guys thirsty? In that bag. No, no, I got, oh, I got mine. Go get, uh, I got mine. I got mine. Yeah, it's locked, man. I only brought one, dude. There's a, there's a holographic. Don't you have any of it? That's the project movie, man. That's me. No, no, no. Did you want something to drink? Yeah, but you know what? Project hey, Blue Beam, man. Hey, you know what that reminds me of, though, is, uh, you know, of course, they depict everything in film. Is it that, uh, I don't know which what the name of the, the exact movie is, but it's that Spider-Man movie. The one with that dude, uh, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. I think he's in that movie, too, and he, oh, plays, okay. he plays a villain. God, God, and he has all kinds of, like... Spider-Man Homecoming or something like that? Something like that, yeah. yeah he's got he a, gets killed at the end with his own technology, Esau. Yeah, yeah, yeah gets, so... Uh, all that, killed like, by a drone. Yeah, all that holographic yeah. technology. He's oh, making, yeah, yeah, making, yeah. making it seem like all this God. stuff's happening when it's really not. God. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, yeah bro. Esau got that, man. Yup, man. And if... Yeah. Just if they could deceive the elect. It's not gonna it's be not possible, possible, man. That's right. When I seen that bush, oh, that was not your house, Josh. That's a damn motherfucking deception, man. Hey, like they said, the car. Like, like they said, not my Jesus. That oh, my man. Oh, yeah. oh, man. As soon as I seen that, that's not your house, Josh, man. Yeah. And I woke oh, up. They're gonna, you saw they're gonna try to pull that stuff, man. Oh, yeah. It's the rapture, people. It's the rapture. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I, that's what's right. gonna happen, bro. It, man, Trying to know? deceive people, man. You ain't gonna be able to deceive the elect, man. Yeah, In a dream, I knew that was fucking. <laughs> he said, uh... <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, you got oh, so many bugged out people, too, already. Like, you got to do that. I, I'm Jesus. Yeah, I'm, I'm, didn't they, they yeah, like, walk up on that yeah, day yeah. with Jesus? He said he was Jesus, bro? Yeah, like, he said, yeah, he said oh, I'm from the kingdom of heaven. I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah man. He's not him today. But, there was somebody else that walked up to us before and said he was Jesus, bro. Uh, right. Bugged out Hamite and this other bugged out cat man. That's the most high truths delusions. Yeah, yeah, that's Fair right, man. Everything thing to fall into the hand of the living power. Oh, that's it, man. That's it, you know. You're all bugged out, man. Have yeah, you out here, <laughs> Bruce? <laughs> Bruce Stu, man. Bruce Stu. Good. Yeah, real quick, man. You know what? Um, yeah, man. Shit. I got a quick one. I, yeah, yeah, let's go this is, uh, this is, uh, Mark 3 and 29 reads, But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy the Holy Ghost shall have never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. And that's what these two thirds, they were 
reject the spirit, man. Yeah, man. These people are rejecting the spirit. They done rejected the spirit, so the most high Yahweh Shem Hashem has rejected them, man. Yeah, this dude trying to say he's from the kingdom of heaven. You ain't. Come on, man. Yup, yeah, that's right, oh, man. It's through. Eternal damnation, man. T. Oh, it's E A R U U U U like that, like that, like that. Like the Arkansas man, that video, man. Rude, rude, rude. Yeah, yeah, man. Rude, stew, man. Rude, stew, man. Yeah, man. I wanted to ask, um, is there uh, any any way we can tell when we're getting spiritually prideful, or does God want us to be spiritually prideful? Like as far as like being like, oh, like I am this, I am oh my God. I mean, it's, it's one thing like to have like a zeal and like, yeah. like, you know, have a strength, like a confidence in like, oh yeah, man, like I feel good about this serving the Lord, but just to remain humble, to always be meek, look at things through your spiritual lens. Yeah, not to be over righteous. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. Exactly. you know, but um, yeah, there's, there's plenty of people that are going to know oh. that they're Israelites. But it says not all of Israel is of, of Israel. Like the so elders, just yeah. you knowing that you're an Israelite, and hey, you ain't gonna receive salvation just by knowing you're an Israelite. You gotta be doing the works, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and then like you show yourself free. Right, I'm, we're not proud to be Israelites. We honor. Yeah. When's this an honor, man? Yeah. We have pride, man. We don't have no pride, man. Cause like we nothing, we're man. Humble. We're, we're nothing, we man. We know we're in captivity. We're, exactly, we're man. To be proud about, man. The Lord says we're worms right now, man. God. We can't defend ourselves. He, that's why He has to, he, to come and save us, man, and lift up standards and all of that, man. Cause a whole lot of bullshit is gonna be happening, man. It says that the dragon was rough with the woman, man, God. and made war Lord, with us, says, man. The remnant never see. Yeah. That's right, man. These so people are going to come down God. hard, man. So when, you, when you serve the Lord, you got to prepare yourself for vex vexation of the spirit and, and a contrite, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, contrite spirit. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, Remind man. Remind me what you contrite mean again? Contrite. Yeah, yeah. Let me, yeah, I'll look at it real quick, man. Yeah. Hey, what's going yeah, on, Gord? Tell the one, man. Right. How you doing? Let's look at the quick. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> like, hey, still ain't cut it, man. I, I, I already told him twice, man. You told me twice? No, 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 no I'm talking about that, that brother. Uh, yeah, that brother. Yeah, Corey. Corey. You think he's a Nazarite? Oh, uh, uh, he's he just going wrong. He's got that area of our culture. I don't know if he's from Spartan East India. You know, what do you call him? The Gentiles? I'm going to go inside from the God of Shiva. That's where the dead come from. The God of Shiva? God of Shiva, yeah. Yeah, okay. With a lowercase G? Yeah. The lowest yeah. lowercase G. Yeah. So, so contract for Google, uh, it goes into feeling or expressing remorse or penitence. So affected by guilt. Yeah, man, so That's we gotta express, repent, express exactly, uh, repent, repent, man, we gotta repent to them and follow them. We're, we're uh, wretched men, we, we right, aren't man. even uh, worthy of this calling, man. Yeah, but, they ain't yeah. nothing, man, yeah. but we are something through Yahweh Shem El Shai's word, man. Yeah. But knowing, without this word, and without you have by Shira Shai, we are nothing, man. Yeah, that's the mercy that the Lord has had upon us, man. We'll still be dead walking around here, man. Yeah. Well, congregation of the dead, man, that's right. They have two thirds of our people that walk around with dead in the spirit, man, because they don't have this truth. So man. we gotta have a, a, a zeal for the Lord, you know, be, be zealous for the Lord, but we, we can't be, you know, over righteous or proud or anything. We, we ain't nothing. He man. said, if you, what did he say? Yeah, yeah we gotta be getting real quick. Yeah, man, the scripture said, the meek shall inherit the earth. So, if I glory in anything, it's not, not notified. Let me get that. Oh, yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of. I think that's, uh, is that Sirach? Oh, hold on, I got it. Yeah, kind of. Bring it out, Rock, yeah. Yeah, man, it's beautiful, though. I love that scripture, man. I pull it up for, for my favorites. It's in my, <laughs> it's in my, it's in my photo reel. <laughs> yeah, <she's out> <laughs> kind of, yeah. Uh, Yeah, 
that film on my phone so I have it on my photo reel. It's in my favorites too. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> well, if it's Eddie uh, Manglord. He it's, has the first Colossians, uh, 131. Yeah, first Colossians 1. Yeah, well, let's go to uh, yeah, Jeremiah 9 also. We'll go into that real quick. Yeah, this is the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 9 and verse 23. It says, uh, yeah, it kind of says, Thus saith the Lord, Yehovah Shimei Shai, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him the glory, glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. So knowing the heavenly Father, all right, that is where the true glory is that man, knowing Yahweh Shimei Shai, that I am the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight said the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai. So don't let any man glory in those things, man, all right? Glory in knowing the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemel Shai, all right? That's as that's much as we can glory in, man, you know? And even do so again with meekness, with humility, being humble, all right? Being a humble servant, that is pleasing to Yahweh Shemel Shai. Ultimately, fearing Yahweh Shemel Shai, man, those are things that the Heavenly Father has pleasure in, right? I got a, I got a, it's a, first Corinthians chapter 1 verse 29, that no flesh should glory in his presence, but of him are ye in your house shall by Shiaid, in your house by Shiaid shall be made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorious, let him glory in the Lord. And that's what it was. Yeah. Amen. It's all the Lord's doings, man. We can't glory or have pride in any of our, anything of ourselves. It's all to the, to the glory of the Lord, man. That He's given us uh, His wisdom, given us uh, the sanctification, um, the mobility be of that number, man, of the elect. But yeah, but, but in glory in the Lord. But it's not, there's no flesh that's going to glory in this country. All the glory is of, of Yahweh Bashri Al Shah. Yeah. Same man. So from the both side, okay, made us into wisdom and righteousness, man. Sanctification and redemption, man. So even having a chance at that redemption, man, all right, being made holy through that sanctification, all right, separating ourselves from the world and all the folly and madness that's in it, man. All right. You know, abstaining from sin, man. You know, the transgression, man, the lust of the flesh, man, should not trying our absolute best to not fulfill the lust of the flesh, man. All right, battling our, our flesh, man, you know? That's an everyday thing, man. This was the scripture I was supposed to do. Okay. Jeremiah chapter nine and verse 24. Uh, yeah, that's what I just did. That's, oh, you did Yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's the spirit though, yeah, man. man. That's the spirit, that's man. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, that, that's the spirit, man. No, that's, yeah, that's a beautiful scripture, man. That's oh, a, too busy trying to find Yeah, it. man. It's, like, <laughs> it's all good, man. It's yeah, all good. Man. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, but that's a beautiful scripture, man. You know, and that's just it, man. Be meek, be humble. Yeah, man. You know? That's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect, man. Because we're, we're hopeful that we're of that number, that we're even worthy of that. We seek that salvation with fear and trembling, man. Yeah, right, man. It says, uh, this is our second Corinthians 10 and 12. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with, with some that commend themselves. But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. <laughs> Scripture says the first shall be last, the last shall be first. These brothers that got that mindset, oh, I'm 144,000, I just know. No, man. That's not the spirit to be in, man. The meek shall inherit the earth, man. We not the can't commend ourselves man give ourselves no pats on the back all right we can't yeah. glory in anything that we do or in this flesh man <laughs> you know we're sold me? under sin you just remind me of what Yahweh Shai said in uh uh <laughs> Shai, this is uh, Luke 18 and 19 and Yahweh Shai said unto him why why callest thou me good 
None is good save one that is Yahweh. Yes. God, uh, yeah. Yes. How did you call himself good, man? Beautiful, man. Come on, man. Ain't none good, man. You know, but the Most High Himself, man. Yeah. This is the Book of Romans. Man, you know what? Yeah, it's just, you know, love what, what, also uh, one of my favorite scriptures, man. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Romans chapter 7 and 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin, man. We are the angels that's, that's in the chains of darkness right now, man. The Most High did it on purpose, man. No, we can't glory in anything, we nothing, man. We, we sinners, man. We have nothing to glory in, man, but this man these scriptures man yeah. and no one is coming back to our power man uh, yeah you say what's uh here at romans uh seven, seven and fourteen go ahead and uh bring out uh 24 and it says oh wretched man that i am man this is this, this, this the prophet man distance himself man he knows he ain't shit, man. I know I ain't shit. These brothers, we all should be in that mindset, man. Man, what is it? Oh, wretched man that I am. Who shall deliver me from the from the body of this death, man? Yeah. And actually, how was Shah Mashiach, man, that's going to deliver us from these wretched bodies, man? That's right, man. That's sold under sin, man. That's right, man. We're, we're, we're out sold under sin. He, he used his blood to buy us back, man. Yeah. We got, we, we back, man. Through the blood of Mashiach Yahushan, man. Given by Yahweh by Shem man. As a, a, as a sacrifice for his people, man. A perfect sacrifice, man. Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. He is perfect, man. And through him, we are made perfect, man. Not by ourselves, not through ourselves. But through him, man. Through him, we are able to do these works, man. You know? What does it say? You know, the wages of sin are death, man. Right? So we're in these chains of, of darkness, sin, man. Uh, chains of darkness, yeah. And how we not gonna be able to die yeah. ever again is when we change, we can man. Change, yeah. We're gonna get immortal bodies, man. Perfect, man. With that kingdom of heaven, man. Yep. Yeah. Kind of, you know, just to kind of land back off that, we're going to uh, Isaiah 64 and 5. It says, Thou meetest him that rejoiceth and worketh righteousness, those that remember thee in thy ways. Behold. Thou art wrong. Thou art upset. You know, thou art pissed. You know, to, you know to put it into uh, modern day terms. It says, For we have sinned in those in, in those is continuance, and we shall be saved. Right, so those who are continuing to seek the Heavenly Father, right? We'll be saved, right? Those who are repenting for their sins, but not but the point here in Isaiah 64 and 6. But we are all as an unclean thing. And our righteousness at, are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. Right, man? So our iniquities, sin upon sin. Right? Our righteousness is as filthy rags. But we can't consider ourselves, you know, to be, commend ourselves. Like and, just read that and through us sinning, and man. through us sinning, man, we got scattered, man. Yeah. We got scattered, man. As, as, as a judgment from the Most High, man, one of the one of the one of the curses, man. Yeah. Like the wind, man, we we throwing everywhere, man. Yeah. I'll give all honor and yeah. praises yeah. to y'all, my Shemuel That's why the the angels are gonna, um, you know, pick up the elect from all four winds, man. That's right, man. That's it. Mm -hmm. Come. Chase. Yeah, um, okay. yeah man. I, you know, we need to be changed, brother. So. I, I got a first Corinthians 15 and 23, but, but every man in his own order, Hamashiach, the first fruits afterward, they that are Hamashiachs at his coming. So the elect says there, then come at the end when he have delivered up the kingdom to Yahweh, even the father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power for he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Yeah, that's right, man. Ooh, that's it. How was shy, man, presenting that crown, man. This dominion over everything, he's presenting this to the most high. Ultimately, this everything is Yahweh's, man. Right. But Yahweh gave 
everything to his son, man. That's right. But just like us, man, I brought this out if we get the curls out. Man, present that to Yahweh Shai, man, because yeah, it's not us, man. It's yeah, through him, man, we're right. able, man. Hey, yeah, Yahweh Shai is the, the first fruit of the, you know, the inheritance of what Yahweh is giving them, and, and the first fruits of Yahweh Shai is our new luck, man. Yep. So, you know, he's going to give them, you know, the portion that uh, he can see, right? Man. Wow. Joint heirs, he that calls us, man. Yeah. Joint heirs with Hamashiach and Yahweh Shai, man. Right, man. But ultimately, we don't, we don't, man, if it wasn't for the predestination of the election to be able to receive salvation, Abu Rashazah, man, the one who watched us, it's good part of that number, man. Mm -hmm. but, we, but we nothing, man. None of us, man. We ain't nothing, man. And the only reason why we're going to get saved, man, is because of that predestination, because Yahweh Shai, Yahweh has given election that's the hand of your shot man yep right and all things man as well all, all things man you know it's uh you know this uh kind of just going in, going into that man because we got to give again all honor and glory and praises to y'all by shimel shot because everything is you know the subject man it belongs to y'all by shimel shot man starting with the heavenly father and then the only begotten son so i want to go into the book of Sirach, chapter 43 ecclesiasticus 43 and I'll start at verse 25 it says for therein be strange and wondrous works variety of all kinds of beasts and whales created right so everything man variety everything created from the power of the heavenly father man the creator of the universe man verse 26 by him right and as it is verse 26 by him the end of them have prosperous success. And by his word, all things consist. Right, man? So all things consist, man, of the heavenly father, Yahweh Okay? Verse 27 says, We may speak much and yet come short. Wherefore, in some, he is all. Right? So all things, man, are of the heavenly father, Yahweh Yahweh created the blueprint and Yahweh Shai enacted everything, man. So, uh, this is the book of Colossians, uh, chapter 1 and verse 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, uh, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. For, for it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven, man. Yahweh Shai created these things, man. Yahweh had the blueprint, and Yahweh Shai created them, man. And everything was created by him and for him. That's like you said, when you. You're not gonna give your son everything, man. Your firstborn, everything. You gonna he deserves everything, man. Even though it says the oldest child, the younger. But the firstborn, no, that's the that's the blessing, though. Yeah. That's the blessing, man. And Yahweh Shai is the the firstborn, man. He is the head of the body. We are the body, but Yahweh Shai is the head, man. Right. And there's no not one ligament in the body that's better than the next man, other than the head man, because the head controls everything. But uh, everybody else, man, we equal, man. And no, no brother should be trying to have that mindset of he's over the next brother, man. That's not true, man. Other than the elders and apostles that was given, you know, there's, there's that. In, in that way. But ultimately, we all the same, man. We all worms, man. We all need the help from the Most High, man. It's just it's the election, predestination, and there's the uh, the ruling class of Israel, which are the 144,000, man. 
but we don't know who's in it, where is it, 44 people. Hopeful. I hope I, even if I'm the last, the last one yeah. of the elect, as long as I make it, oh man. How about you? How about Shimmy outside, man? Come on now. That's it. As long as you make it, man. And that's what we hoping and we praying for, man, is to make it, man. Just to make it, man. No brother should be in. You should always have had a ton of reach the, the heights, man, you know. But we hoping to be a part of that number, man. We don't know. But that's why we're making our call in the election. Sure. I don't care about the last one. As long as I make it. Amen. So go back to the book of Sirach, please. Yes, it's chapter 43. And uh, go into verse 28. It says, How shall we be able to magnify him? For he is great above all his works. That's right. So how can we magnify the Heavenly Father, man? He is greater than all the works that we have seen. And as the scripture said, we have seen but a few of his works. Mm -hmm. All right? Ooh. Verse 29. The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can, for even yet, while he far exceed, and when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. You can never go far enough, Because he's still gonna exceed that. Man. That's right, man. You can't give him uh, <laughs> it's too much praise, man. Yep. It's too much praise, honor, and glory, man, to that to him, man. You know? All right, man. To Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man? Because when we reverence the Father, we most definitely gonna reverence the Son, man. That's right, man. Okay, I think now. Uh, yeah, yeah, through the spirit. Yeah. Let's wrap it up, man. You got anything? You got anything? Yeah. 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 Yeah.